Chapter 2676 Shale What a strong and proud man, Hansen thought in admiration. Hansen wasn't suspicious of the man, so he moved to sit down himself. He cast the story of genes to recover the power he had lost. Heart connection was a skill that concentrated all of the power inside one's body into a single precise point. That power would all be spent in a single use, and it would take a long time to recover. Hansen had used heart connection because he had a way to recover in a short period of time, if necessary. He wouldn't have to wait too long before he could fight again. However, if Shale was willing to wait for him, then Hansen wouldn't have to use his method of accelerated recovery. Up until that moment, the three half-deifieds who escaped hadn't realized that Hansen's power had been exhausted. They regretted how quickly they had been to flee. They should have immediately attacked Hansen again. The very high masters of the three half-deified silkworms shook their heads in dismay. The very high selected a silkworm based on three things, talent, power, and personality. Their personality was difficult to fully judge, however. The truth of a person's character was only revealed during real life and death moments. If the silkworm's personality was shown to be poor or weak during the silkworm bouts, there was every chance that their very high master might cast them away. That was the purpose of this battle royale. Although Gru had lost, the very high who had signed a contract with him was happy with his personality. Gru wasn't going to be cast out. But the Manus Man and the other three were probably going to be discarded. Of course, that was just how things looked at the moment. If the Silkworms worked hard and showed that they really were resilient and determined people, there was a slim chance of them earning their master's love back. Only the dead Manus Man had no chance of that. With Shale sitting nearby, no other silkworm would get close to Hans Senator. He continued casting the story of genes to recover his power. He didn't do anything else. The fox woman approached Shale and glanced at Hans Sen, who was focusing on his geno arts. Shale, why aren't you doing anything? I came to Outer Sky to practice, not to kill, Shale said expressionlessly. Have you forgotten that you're no longer deified? With the power he just demonstrated, if you allow him to recover, you might not win. Are you really willing to risk giving up the Apollo set? The woman said with a blink. Shale didn't respond, which prompted the woman to continue. If you don't want to do it, then I will. After that, the woman walked up to Han's senator. A strange light began to glow around her fingers. I told him I would protect him for ten hours. If you get any closer, I will consider you an enemy, Shale said. You will regret this. This universe only progresses by the strong feeding on the weak. It is survival of the fittest. If you continue to act like this, you won't be strong enough to lift the rest of your race, the woman said. Maybe. Shale didn't bother arguing. Seeing that Shale had no intention of arguing with her further, the woman rolled her eyes and laughed. Shale, Shale, Shale. You ate the demon fruit and fell from your deified rank. You might not beat Hansen, but you still sound so proud. I'm afraid that in this universe, not many people can be as proud as you. Her words could have been either insult or praise, but one thing was clear, she had pitched her voice loud enough for those watching the contest to hear. Many of the very high hadn't known that Shale had eaten a demon fruit. They were shocked to hear this. Shale ate demon fruit? Li Yuzhen and Li Xuecheng looked ill. The deified Shale was previously considered the strongest fighter taking part in the silkworm bouts, but if he had eaten a demon fruit and his rank had fallen, there was the very real chance of him not winning. No wonder Open Sky Elder was willing to wager his Open Sky jewelry. He must have known that Shale ate the demon fruit and received a downgrade. Li Xueqing gnashed his teeth. He pointed at Shale and screamed, You idiot! You dropped down to half deified, and yet you are still behaving this proudly? Kill him while he is weak. Right now, Li Xueqing wanted to grab Shale's hand and use it to strike Hansen down. Li Yuzhen's face turned green, but then it turned white. Clearly, there were a lot of sour emotions running through his heart at that moment. They almost coughed up blood because of how Shale was behaving. Exquisite and Lee Keir, on the other hand, were delighted. Shale wasn't deified anymore, and that increased Han Sin's chances of winning. Therefore, things suddenly didn't seem as hopeless anymore. The audience might have been surprised by the news of Shale's fallen rank, but for the silkworms in the valley, the revelation breathed new life into this contest. In the foothills of the valley, a very high man squinted. Shale ate a demon fruit and became half deified? I thought there was no hope of reaching first place. I guess now there is. In a heartbeat, 
The very high man had teleported away and appeared on the other side of the valley. He popped into existence next to the three half-deified silkworms that had just been fighting Hansen earlier. Mo Fong. When the three of them saw the very high man, they were given a shock. Alarmed, they gathered up all their power. Out of the twelve silkworms, aside from Shale and Hansen, Mo Fong could be regarded as the most famous. In fact, some silkworms were more afraid of Mo Fong than they were of Hansen and Shale. Although Mo Fong was only half deified, he was one of the very high. That fact alone made him unlike any other silkworm. Don't worry, guys. I am here to cooperate with you three. I intend to bring you no harm, Mo Fong said with a smile. Cooperate? You mean against Shale? One of the extreme king asked Mo Fong. Mo Fong hadn't joined them until after the woman mentioned that Shale's rank had fallen. They could easily guess what he was going to do. Not bad. If Shale was still deified, I would have stood no chance. But now that he is just half deified, why don't we cooperate and kick him out of the match? Then, we can finish off the weakened Hansen, Mo Fong said. Fighting Shale won't allow us to reach first place in the fight, though. You will be the one reaping the benefits. Where does that leave us? Why would we risk our necks for you? The Aichi archer asked skeptically. Forgive me for speaking so bluntly, but with the power you guys have, you will likely be the weakest of everyone in this valley. Aside from the one who quit the match, you three will be fighting for last place. If you guys are willing to help me, once we are done, we can continue cooperating. We can knock the other silkworms out of the valley, so I can become first, and you three can occupy the second, third, and fourth places, Mo Fong said. Are you serious? Pleased grin spread across the faces of the three half deifieds. They had been cooperating from the beginning because they already knew their powers were weak. Since when would one of the very high not live up to their word? Mo Fong said proudly. Two of the extreme king half deifieds looked at each other, then one of them turned back to Mo Fong. Okay, we're in. If another silkworm had come there asking that they work together, they would have hesitated. However, Mo Fong was well known. Although he was a silkworm, he was one of the very high. And being on very high land, cooperating with him would be the safest thing to do. Chapter 267078 Whole Emperor Hansen had only been recovering for half an hour when Mo Fong came over to fight, the three others following behind him like ducklings. Shell glanced toward Mo Fong, and Mo Fong lifted his lips while looking back at Shale. Neither said a word, but they each knew what the other was thinking. Butterfly, are you with us, or are you with Shale? Mo Fong asked, looking at the fox woman. I'm just a weak woman. I can't help anyone, Butterfly said while falling back. She didn't want to help either side. Mo Fong knew the woman was more than she seemed. She had deliberately leaked the news that Shale was no longer deified. She obviously wanted to sit back and receive whatever benefits stumbled into her lap. But Mo Fong didn't mind. No matter how tricky she might have been, she simply wasn't strong enough to affect his chances of securing first place, he believed. For right now, only Shale was standing in his way. Shale, are you really going to protect Hansen? Shale nodded at the others who had come with him. The three of them spread out, surrounding Shale. Whether I agreed to protect him or not, I would have been forced to face you eventually, Shale said while standing up. His body was three meters tall. He radiated power, and he was intimidating even when he wasn't trying to be. He looked like a golden maned lion. Mo Fong smiled and said, If you quit now, we don't have to waste time fighting. Just fight. Shale looked so calm. He had all the peaceful solidity of a mountain. Then you will have to be careful, Mo Fong said. He pointed a finger, and the evil breaker powers of the dragon spread over his fist. The dragon were widely considered the bravest race, and evil breaker powers were powers that could concentrate might. They could make the smallest attacks into the strongest attacks. It was similar to Han Sen's heart connection, but heart connection released all of someone's power at once. Evil Breaker powers only concentrated the power you wanted to use at the moment. Hansen once spent time investigating the Evil Breaker powers of the dragon, and he came to the conclusion that it was a very scary Geno art. Right now, Mo Fong was using the ability to summon strength. The power he gathered was stronger than that of a dragon deified. It was like his finger could form a black hole in space. Shale didn't dodge or run. His giant body stepped forward as he swung his fist. He moved so quickly that his blonde hair waved in the wind, his body surging forward like that of an enraged lion. Boom. 
the finger and the fist collided with each other, and the ensuing explosion tore apart the nearby terrain. Shale didn't move at all, whereas Emo Fong fell back 10 meters. Emo Fong smiled. Then, he laughed and said, You truly are born deified. Even if you're weaker now, your fitness is still incredibly rare. That was just physical power. It was nothing compared to the secret geno arts of the very high, Shale said humbly. In regards to personal power, I'm not your equal. But I want to reach first place. Therefore, I must apologize, Emo Fong said. The extreme king fighters and the Aichi then made their move. Now, Shale was in the same type of trouble that Hansen had previously been in. But Shale's situation was even direr. The primary difference was the swapping of Emo Fong for the Mandis Man. There was a big difference between the capabilities of those two. Emo Fong's strength was far greater than the Mantis Man's had been. It might have been an illusion, but with Emo Fong's participation, the cooperation of the others seemed to be far better than it had been the last time. It appeared unbreakable. Emo Fong is skilled with heart techniques. With his ability to command, he can control the other silkworms as if he was twiddling his fingers. He can allow four people to conduct group combat at their max potential. Shale doesn't have the power to suppress them, so it is clear that he is in danger, Exquisite said while looking at Shale down on the battlefield. While Exquisite spoke, Shale endured a few hits. Shale was born to a small race that didn't have any good geno arts. Aside from his talent and level, his heritage was worse than Han's sins. The few good geno arts he had were the ones he had learned during his stay in Outer Sky. It was impossible for Shale to defeat the four people surrounding him with his skill set. Shale might not have been less skilled than Han Sin, but he lacked Han Sin's range and diversity. He had been trapped by the areas unleashed by the Aichi warrior and the two extreme king fighters, and his power couldn't reach him o Fong. He was like a beast trapped inside a cage. No matter how much he struggled, he couldn't get out of the cage. And the people outside the cage were hurting him. Emo Fong moved his fingers as if they were ten separate blades. Scary god lights were shining everywhere, and countless marks were being drawn across Shale's body. Emo Fong had a title. He was known as the Eight Hole Emperor. Someone who was known to be particularly empathic or sensitive was often called an Eight Face Exquisite or a Seven Hole Exquisite Heart. Emo Fong's title was created as a combination of those two terms because he could use his empathy to affect others. He became known as the Eight Hole Emperor. He could do far more than just control three half deifieds. He could easily exert influence over armies comprised of tens of thousands of troops. Such a feat would be easy for Emo Fong. What a powerful body. You seem stronger than the average very high. Ten armor talents are very rare. No wonder you are so famous. Emo Fong had used his initial attack against Shale several times, but he could only shred the man's skin to leave behind minor wounds. He felt compelled to compliment his foe. Li Yuzhen and Li Xuecheng's hearts almost hopped out of their chests. Right now, they weren't even worried about Hans and beating Shale. It looked like Shale might not even last long enough to fight him. D asterisk a minute. Li Xuecheng's face darkened in rage. He thought about what might happen if Shale lost the silkworm bout. He felt dizzy and his body kept shivering. The very high that were banking on Hans and winning were very happy, by comparison. That kid Emo Fong isn't bad. Although his power is weak, I can't think of a single very. High the young generation that is a better commander. Good job. Get rid of Shale quickly. Haha. <laughs> Emo Fong will kill him. And then, he will kill Hans Senator I like this story. Shale was incurring more and more wounds. If a half deified was any weaker than Shale, they would have already lost this fight. But looking into his eyes, it was obvious that Shale wasn't scared. He wasn't going to retreat. His eyes looked like the eyes of a lion. He was excited, as excited as a bloodthirsty beast. It was like some sort of stimulant was pumping through his veins instead of blood. Emo Fong frowned. He realized how difficult it was to harm Shale. He could use an attack against Shale once, and after that, the same attack would no longer damage him. Emo Fong had to keep changing his fighting stance as he used one technique after another. To an outsider, it might look like Shale was being suppressed. Someone would have needed to look very close to realize how much Emo Fong was struggling. Even though the very high had thousands of geno arts, with most coming from other races, Emo Fong hadn't practiced them all. If this continued for too long, he would have to start repeating his skills. Is that it? Disappointment welled up within Shale's eyes. Chapter 2678 Scary Battle Talent 
The audience soon noticed that Shale was taking fewer and fewer injuries as time went on. In addition, his wounds were recovering at an abnormally fast rate. After a short while, almost all of his injuries had vanished. He has such frightening strength. How many races with hidden power are there, scattered across the universe? Likir murmured in surprise. Hansen, Dollar, and now Shale, all of them were fierce. And yet, they weren't members of high races. In fact, their ancestry was barely even noteworthy. And yet, they all had crazy powers that even the very high had never seen before. Many of the very high were having similar thoughts as they watched the fight. The ordinary very high, the ones who hadn't practiced the very high since, were quite average. None of them were any stronger than Hansen or Shale. The very high that practiced the very high sense certainly had incredible abilities, but it wasn't as if the mere practice of the very high sense could give them the level of power that was now being displayed. When their silkworms became deified, however, they would gain experience that would lend them a lot of strength and willpower. Such a process would dramatically boost their development. This was the case with Exquisite and Likir. Right now, they weren't as strong as Han Senator they couldn't defeat him in battle. Exquisite had even failed to beat him when she was a level above him. But over time, they would learn everything they could as Hansen became deified, and it would propel them forward. Although they would not yet have achieved deified status personally, their minds would be as strong as Hansen at deified status. When Emo Fong realized that he would be unable to suppress Shale, a strange gleam passed over his eyes. He focused his full concentration on his opponent, and his third eye tore itself open. It became a Tai Chi Yin Yang eye that shone with crystal clarity. The moment the eye opened, Emo Fong's entire presence changed. He hadn't become the lifeless, machine like being that Exquisite turned into, but he still wielded a power that would make all who fought against him cower. The moment his third eye opened, the three half deifieds that were following his mental commands suddenly lurched. Their eyes lost focus. They became puppets, operated entirely by Emo Fong's will. It was like they were merely extensions of Emo Fong's body, dancing to his whims. The three half deifieds felt sick. They had been selected as silkworms, yet they had ended up in this humiliating situation. It was very likely that their masters would end up picking new silkworms. The moment Emo Fong opened his very high eye, the situation of the battle was flipped on its head. Shale had regained the upper hand, but now he seemed to lose it again. The four silkworms were no longer a group composed of Emo Fong and the three other half deified outsiders. It was now a group of four Emo Fangs. The other three Emo Fangs used their original powers, but their bodies were entirely controlled by Emo Fong's mind. Under the giant tide of pressure, Shale's eyes looked bright again. The fight became insane. The four Emo Fangs had different powers and Emo Fong used them to make countless combination attacks. And now, Shale had no chance to fight back. Although Shale wasn't yet losing the fight, he couldn't find any way to mount an effective counterattack against his opponents. The fight continued, and Shale began accumulating wounds again. At this time, the fox woman quietly walked over to Han Sen, who was still in the middle of recovering. Ah, Han Sen, Han Sen. You are finally in my paws. The woman lifted her hands and placed them on his back. Hansen was still practicing, but he could still tell what was going on around him. He knew every movement of the fox woman. He was preparing to stand up and fight her when he heard a shout. That noise came from Shale's mouth, and it was like thunder rolling across the sky. Although Shale was still in combat with Emo Fong, he had been keeping an eye on Hansen's situation. When he saw that the fox woman was making a move behind his back, his eyes flashed. He let out that lion's roar. Suddenly, Shale's body expanded to become twice as big. All of his muscles bulged, and a red ball of light manifested like a fire outside his body. The wavy blonde mane straightened in the fire. He looked like a lion-headed demon god. Shale was having a nasty fight against Emo Fong already, but now Shale's transformation forced Emo Fong to fall back. His abrupt retreat threw off his rhythm of attacks. Shale ran toward Han Sen and threw a punch at the fox woman. The fox woman was shocked. She teleported away, vanishing like a cloud and avoiding Shale's punch. Shale, why are you going against me on behalf of our enemy? The fox woman frowned at Shale. I told you I would protect him for ten hours. Anyone who touches him will become my enemy. Shale stood next to Han Sen, looking as cold as a demon god. Emo Fong stared at Shale in astonishment. 
Shale's power and presence were entirely different. He had already been in such a tough fight, but he clearly hadn't been using all of his power. Emo Fong, how about you and I fight him together? The fox suggested to Emo Fong. She knew she couldn't defeat Shale by herself. Sure, Emo Fong didn't want to lose or abandon this fight, so he had to take advantage of every opportunity that came his way. The fox woman didn't say anything more. Her body shone with a red light that solidified into a full set of red, metal-plated armor. It encased her body, leaving only her tail waving gently on the outside. That tail then split into nine. Nine fox tails were swinging in the air. The pink area then spread to enshroud the space all around them. Shale's body was suddenly ensnared by a pink chain that was barely visible in the haze. It tied up his body, and it looked as if he couldn't move. Without any communication, Emo Fong immediately guided his four bodies to attack Shale. All of the areas landed on Shale. When the five half deifieds came against him, Shale reacted in utter rage. His eyes were on fire, and his body was like a volcanic eruption. Shale roared furiously, and a scary power exploded the binding chain. His fists were like a pair of fiery warhammers. They annihilated space and struck one of the extreme kings. Emo Fong guided the extreme king to raise his arms and block the incoming strike, but beneath the cruelty of that punch, his attempt was futile. The man's area buffed arm bones were shattered by Shale's strike. The fist proceeded to land against the man's chest, and it sent him flying away like a meteor. Pang, 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 pang. Shale was like an unstoppable demon god. Every punch sent another enemy streaking away. Emo Fong and the other three silkworms he commanded hurtled through the air, and none of them had even been given a chance to fight back. The punches looked very simple, but things were actually far more complicated beneath the surface. Only Emo Fong knew that Shale's seemingly simple punches somehow subverted all of his plans to counterattack. It was like each punch was designed to stop whatever ability he tried to activate. The four punches were a little different each time. Different powers were released against the different bodies. There was only one explanation for how Shale could do this. He must have known the powers and attack methods of each individual fighter. That was the only way this was possible. Does this mean that while we were attacking earlier, he was studying our attack patterns? To this level? Emo Fong thought as he flew back through the air. His back slammed into a nearby mountain, and the force of the impact drove the air from his lungs in a ragged cough. Blood spilled over his lips. He struggled a little, but he couldn't get up. His heart was in so much shock, he could scarcely believe it. Chapter 2679 Close Call Everyone stared at the match in awe. No one had expected that Shale, who had fallen from his deified rank, could wield power as fierce as this. He had even managed to injure an elite like Emo Fong with a single punch. Possessing this sort of power would make him invincible once he became deified again. Haha, uh -huh. I knew Shale wouldn't lose. Did Emo Fong and Han Sen seriously think that they could fight Shale? Li Xuetxin was so excited that he couldn't help but cackle. Relief washed over Li Yuzhen. If Shale were to lose, their lives would become very difficult in the near future. Exquisite and Li Qir were worried now. Shale was very strong, and even though he wasn't deified, it would be a very tall task for Han Sen to achieve victory. Shale, you are going to regret this. The fox lady spat spitefully at Shale. She was the only person who hadn't been punched. She stared at Hansen for another moment, then left. Shale's face was impassive. He returned to sit where he had been, and then his body returned to its normal size. Seeing that everyone nearby had been chased off by Shale, Hansen felt safe once more. He took his time recovering, but after that fight, no one dared to disturb them again. The ten hours went by fairly quickly. Once Hansen had returned to peak condition, he stood up, and looked at Shale. The Leonine man was still calmly sitting in the same position. He looked very peaceful with his eyes closed. It seemed as if he could feel Han Sin's gaze land on him, because Shale opened his eyes and asked, Did you rest well? I am completely recovered, Han Sen answered. Then let us begin. As Shale turned his full attention on Han Sen, the red ball of light appeared around his body again. His body expanded quickly under the light's influence returning him to that shape of a lion-headed demon god. Mutant class born deified Xenogeneic? No wonder he has a tin armor talent. Hansen examined Shale's power, and he went on to think, even though he is dropped to half deified, he will still be difficult to deal with. His eyes had been closed, but Hansen had still been paying close attention to Shale's fight earlier. 
He knew Shale's body was no weaker than his own, and the guy's combat abilities were also good. Despite the brevity of the fight, Shale had been able to analyze the movement of his opponents in detail. That kind of fighting talent would be a challenge to Han Sr. Hansen didn't say anything, though. Instead, he lifted his hands as if they were a pair of knives. He cast under the sky and teeth knife. Shale didn't fall back. He moved forward, swinging a fist in the same moment. Their fists and palms began to collide against each other in the air. The shockwaves of their strikes detonated across the valley like fireworks. The fight between the two of them seemed like it would go on endlessly. The fitness of the two fighters seemed to be on par. It was hard to determine which of the two would reign supreme. The raw physical strength of their bodies is quite scary, but I think Han's sound has a frightening edge. After all, he is just a ninth-tier king. If he became half-deified, the power of his body would far exceed Shale's. I wonder how a crystallizer was able to develop a body this sturdy. Scary, isn't it? Are the Geno Arts he practiced that powerful? Open Sky Elder murmured to himself. I think so. Not even our very high bodies can satisfy the fitness requirements of his Geno Art. It would undoubtedly be much harder for other creatures of the universe. Hansen's learning of it must have been some sort of fluke. Chi Yu Elder had a wry smile. All I can say is that this kid is very lucky, Open Sky Elder said with a laugh. Ping. Fists and palms collided. Giant shockwaves of turbulent power sent Shale and Hansen tumbling away from each other. After Hansen regained his balance, he used his hands to slash forward. Countless knife silks appeared in the air. The knife silks were so numerous that they seemed to fill the surrounding area. Hansen slashed forward, sending the knife silks across Shale's body. Because they came from every direction, Shale didn't even stand a chance of dodging them. Shale's eyes flashed, and he suddenly punched the ground. The ground collapsed, and even nearby mountains started to crumble. Rocks fountained up around Shale's fist to intercept the knife silks. Knife silks and rocks struck each other. Many layers of the knife silks destroyed themselves against the rocks, and only a few of them made it all the way to Shale. He waved his hand to break what remained. It has been so long since I met an enemy who anticipates my next move, Hansen sighed. That's what I was going to say, as well. I have to say, you really haven't disappointed me. Shale's eyes were brimming with passion. But you've disappointed me. I was thinking I could get first place easily, but it currently feels impossible. Hansen felt a bit thirsty, and he licked his lips. That was one of his habits. When he faced things he had no confidence in dealing with, he frequently did this. Life is disappointing sometimes, Shale said, a moment before swinging his fist again. His punches were very simple. However, they didn't remind Hansen of a complicated technique that had been developed into a simplified form. Instead, Shale used a raw, basic punching skill. A skill like that could be found amongst any of the smaller races. But Shale had taken that basic punch up more than a few notches. He had practiced the skill to a level that was too much for Hansen to deal with. Hansen cycled between a few knife skills and punching techniques. Each of them was a top-notch Geno art. Some of them were from the rebate, whereas others came from Sky Palace. Each style he used was unique. Every time he used a new skill, Hansen felt like he had gained the advantage. For a moment, at least. Then Shale always swooped in to take that advantage away. Plus, Shale used the same punching skill the entire time. He didn't alter his own skills until he became familiar with Han Sen's Geno arts. Then, he changed his punching skill just enough to counter each of Han Sen's techniques. F asterisk CK this guy. He wasn't just born deified. He was born a battle master, as well. He is far too sensitive to the delicacies of combat. I only have to use the same skill on him twice before he learns how to deal with it. Who is this F asterisk king guy? Han Sen had never seen such intimidating battle talent. Shale and Lone Bamboo were different. Because Lone Bamboo had experienced far too much in his lifetime, he could adapt and control his style perfectly. He could easily learn the Geno arts of other people, and every technique he used was top class. Shale didn't bother actually learning the Geno arts of others. He simply made himself more powerful and brute forced his way through all obstacles. It was like his one skill could break down a thousand skills. It wasn't that the skill depended on power. Power was only one part of it. Rather, Shale could apply his skill creatively enough to counter all sorts of different attacks. Shale had a powerful mind, and that was the source of his ability to counter his opponents. 
He has a powerful body with incredible endurance, not to mention a problem-solving mind. This guy is giving me a headache. Hansen experimented with many Geno arts, but he couldn't defeat Shale. But Hansen was different from M.O. Fong. When M.O. Fong used the same Geno art twice, Shale could pick up on the flaws. But even when Hansen used the same Geno art multiple times, Shale was unable to see the errors. That surprised Shale a great deal. He could see the flaws in Hansen's execution, but when Hansen used the same skill again, something kept Shale from exploiting those mistakes. Shale tried to target the weaknesses in Hansen's Geno art several times, but his attempts always failed. He had never experienced a situation like this before. Chapter 2680 Leveling Up While Fighting The two of them continued fighting, but they were unable to deal damage to each other. Hansen kept altering his knife skills. Shale's punching skill didn't change in the face of Hansen's rapidly mutating attacks. The two of them fought as hard and fast as they could, but neither of them could gain the upper hand. It had been a very long time since Hansen had a fight like this. In his recent fights, he had either lost to his enemies or crushed them almost immediately. He hadn't put so much energy and effort into a fight since his contest with Lone Bamboo. A fight like this drained a lot of energy from his body. It also forced him to use his mind constantly. If he made a mistake, his enemy would take advantage of the window and beat him. He couldn't afford to make a single misstep. As the very high watched the pair conduct their battle, conflicted looks appeared across their faces. Both of the fighters were king class, but their minds were deified. The fight was so nuanced that the onlookers didn't know what to make of it. This was no ordinary battle. This fight took effort and brain power. Many of the attacks and counters seemed simple, until the audience took a second to consider why the two fighters had chosen those moves. Every single action in this fight was done with an ulterior motive. It looked like a simple fist and knife fight, but people would be thinking about it for a long time afterward. Li Yuzhen and Li Xue Cheng's bodies were quivering. It was hard to tell who was going to win and who would lose. It looked as if winning or losing would only come from a hair-thin lead. Big brother, having Shale as your silkworm is very fortuitous for you. Bi Shi looked at his big brother Li Chun Xiao with grand admiration. Yu Shanxin isn't bad, either, Li Chun Xiao said distantly. Since Shale was his silkworm, he wasn't really paying much attention to their conversation. He felt as if he was fighting Hansen himself, right then and there. But there were many fighting minds and techniques he had to learn that he had never previously encountered. It felt so strange. Experiencing the battle from Shale's perspective was unique. He felt like he was fighting himself, but at the same time, he could step back and examine Shale's choices with a critical eye. He could tell which decisions Shale made were better than his opponent and vice versa. He only absorbed the good battle experiences while figuring out and filing away the bad ones. Right now, Shale was only half deified. In the future, Shale would travel through the deified ranks of primitive, transmutation, larva, butterfly, and maybe even true god. Li Chun Xiao could slowly absorb everything that Shale experienced. At that point, Li Chun Xiao would only be half deified but he would have the experience of a true god. Li Chun Xiao could slowly study everything that Shale had learned through his evolution. Although he would only be half deified himself, his mind would be on a different level. Bishi looked bitter as he said, This Yu Shanxin hides a great deal from me. He is so strong and tough. He is a difficult nut to crack. Even now, I have yet to learn a single thing from his mind. Those silkworms might be the most challenging, but they're also the most rewarding. Conquering them will yield better results in the long run, Li Chun Xiao said. You are right, but... Well, never mind. I bet Exquisite and Li Qir have the same problem, Bishi said. Exquisite and Li Qir did have trouble, but Hansen let them in when he fought. Like Li Chun Xiao, they gained a lot of battle experience from Han Senator. Each decision he made taught them a lot. But while Hansen was a ninth-tier king, he had a scary power and a scarier mind. It made them so happy. Even if Hansen lost this fight, just getting to experience this battle would be more than worth it to them. One thing caught them off guard, though. Despite the intensity of the fight, they could sense that Hansen was deliberately hiding the true range of his powers. Is Hansen not using all of his strength? The possibility stunned them. He was already fighting at an unbelievable level, and yet he didn't seem to have tapped into the full potential of his power. That was a scary thought. Lee Kier had always thought Dollar was stronger than Hansen 
but she now found herself looking at the man with a complicated expression. Although he was fighting an elite like Shale, Hansen could still hide some of his power. This was no longer just an intimidating display of ability, it was out and out frightening. Although Hansen tried his best to close off his mind and avoid thinking about the Dongshin Sutra and his super god spirit body, Li Kier and Exquisite were still able to pick up that he was suppressing something. They would come to know that Hansen was hiding his true power, but that couldn't be avoided. In truth, Hansen's ability to suppress his thoughts at all in this situation indicated that the power of his mind was terrifyingly profound. In a fight like that, most people would need to constantly think about which Geno arts and powers they were good at. This guy is too scary, Li Kier said while she watched Han Sr. He is rather frightening, isn't he? I don't think he will ever fail to surprise us. Every time we think we have seen it all, he goes the extra mile and does more, Exquisite said with a nervous smile. When she fought Hansen, she thought that she had forced him to cast many of his skills. But it now looked like Hansen had only used a fraction of his talent when he was fighting her. He was now bringing out more tools, but even more were still being kept hidden. We must dig into this man and unearth all of his secrets, Li Kier said. Her eyes were brimming with excitement. Li Kier had better potential than exquisite, but she didn't focus on the very high sense. Her very high forget love wasn't as developed as exquisites, so she was prone to becoming more emotional. Exquisite only coldly said, There is no rush. We have for years. He will reveal his secrets to us in time. It doesn't matter that he has managed to hide it all for now. Open Sky Elder looked a bit gloomy, and he said, The smallest move could determine how this plays out. Either one of them could win at this point. Hansen is strong, but he is just a ninth tier king. He is ranked lower than Shale. If they were in the same class, Hansen would have a 70% chance of winning. Chi Yu Elder shook his head and said, No, it doesn't work like that. Shale is half deified, but his will is deified. Hansen is just a ninth tier king, and yet, he is holding his own against a powerful half deified. That means his talent and potential are scarier than Shale's. Does that mean the 11 armor talent test was legit? Open Sky Elder wondered with a frown. It is hard to say. If he isn't doing this well because of his talent, then it is hard to imagine what Han Sound has that is letting him fight Shale. Chi Yu Elder looked at Han Sen, his face conflicted. A 10 armor talent is very rare. A real 11 armor talent would make a man the greatest of his generation. Do you think Han Sen is this kind of great man? Open Sky Elder asked, looking a little worried. I'm not sure about that, but it is plain to see that his talent is stunning. Li Kier and Exquisite got lucky when they signed a contract with him, Chi Yu Elder said. What is going on? Something is wrong with Shale. Open Sky Elder wanted to say something, but he was in too much shock. Then, his face went white. He looked at Shale in the video and screamed, He. He's going to level up. Chapter 2681 Back to Deified Everyone could see the strange expression on Shale's face. As time passed, the red ball of light that surrounded him dimmed, then darkened. Then the dark red color began to change to solid black. It must be the demon fruit. The demon fruit is working. Is Shao going to become deified right in front of us? Li Xuecheng merrily proclaimed. Li Yuzhen was thrilled as well. Now I understand. Shao knew that the silkworm fights were going to start, but he decided to eat the demon fruit anyway. He hoped to use the pressure of a challenging silkworm fight to accelerate his growth and activate the dormant demon fruit power that resided in his body. During his fight with Han Sen, the demon fruit inside him has slowly been refined. Now, it must have all been absorbed. It will make him deified in the middle of this very fight. Shale is really leveling up the deified? There will be no more debating which of the two will emerge victorious now. It will be impossible for Han Sen to defeat a deified Shale. Li Xueqing had been quivering with fear earlier, but now his quaking was due to unbridled glee. This silkworm fight had been a nonstop roller coaster of emotions for the two men. Li Xueqing's emotions had gone up and down so much that he had thought his heart was going to leap out of his chest. The fires around Shale's body turned black. Black symbols were appearing across him, as if they were being carved into his exposed skin. A frightening presence was emanating from the symbols. Shale's power began to generate substance chains. Back to deified once more? Hansen frowned. He wasn't blind. He could see that Shale's power was changing. Shale tipped his head back and roared to the sky, and the power of his substance chains exploded. 
His previously golden hair was suddenly dyed pitch black. Shale used to look like a gold lion. Now his body had shrunk, but his muscles looked more solid and powerful than ever. It was like every cell in his body had filled up with an unimaginably grand power. The new, black-haired Shale didn't look as wild. He looked mysterious and alien. The black symbols were visible all across his face, and black flames quivered across his body. He looked like some sort of demon lion from hell. He has returned the deified. Li Kier's face looked sickened. It didn't matter how talented or strong Hansen was, he couldn't defeat a deified Shale. After all, deifieds were completely different from all other ranks beneath him. They were as different as the sky and the ground. Shale must have planned from the beginning to use this fight to become deified again. He wanted to use Han Sound as his whetstone, Exquisite said glumly, then sighed. She understood the truth behind it all now. That was excellent planning on Shale's part, Li Kier said with a grunt. He ate the demon fruit before the silkworm fight. If no one presented him with a serious challenge, he could secure first place. If he did find someone who could stand up to him, he could refine the demon fruit and return to being deified and still secure first place and all the spoils. He is a very smart man, I will confess. Exquisite shook her head. But again, it isn't that simple. A normal person would struggle to become deified again whether or not they refined the demon fruit. Shale was able to become deified because his talent was that exceptional. This may not have been his plan at all. No matter what his reasoning was, these are the results, Li Kier said in frustration. Chi Yu Elder and Open Sky Elder both looked very ill. And the very high people who had placed big bets on Hansen looked just as bad. They thought they had seen a sound hope of victory, but it was all gone now. Since the moment Shale became deified, their hopes and dreams were squashed. Their hearts fell to the bottom of the blackest abyss, and they couldn't see the light of hope anymore. I apologize. I tried to control my power, but I was unable to suppress it. I have now returned to deified class. Shale ceased attacking. He felt guilty about what had happened. What he said made everyone watching want to cough up blood. Many creatures wanted nothing more than to become deified, and Shale had been doing his best not to. That was quite upsetting. If anyone else had said this, they might have sounded cocky. But Shale was renowned for his honesty, and he certainly wasn't putting on an act. He had genuinely tried to suppress his power, but he ended up becoming deified anyway. He had wanted to finish this fight as a half-deified. But fighting Hansen had required too much from him. He had no choice but to use his full power to fight, and so he was unable to hold back the energy of the refined demon fruit. Once that dam of power broke loose, he had become deified. There is no need to apologize. Your level is a part of your power. Hansen didn't think it was shameful for someone to fight against an opponent of a lower level. If someone had a higher level, they must have earned it. Today's fight won't count. I will wait until you become deified, and then we will fight again, Shale said, looking at Han Sr. This fight isn't finished yet, Hansen responded, his face unchanged. Shale shook his head. Although I don't want to win while you are at a lower level, I still need this first place. So, I'm sorry. We should abandon this battle for now. There is no need to apologize. Didn't I just say our fight hasn't ended yet? If you can win, then it was because you were better than me. But in order to decide that, we must first fight and see who the victor truly is. Hansen gazed at Shale calmly. He didn't look very emotional. When Li Yuzhen heard Hansen say this, he coldly laughed and said, this Hansen really doesn't know his place. Shale has given him plenty of opportunities to bow out gracefully, and he even offered to leave this place together. That meant he would give Hansen second place. But still, the brat insists on fighting. If he gets kicked out right now, he definitely won't end up in second place, either. Li Kier, Exquisite, and all the other very high thought Han Sin's response had been too cocky. He should have accepted second place instead of losing now. But in contrast to their own thoughts, Li Kier and Exquisite didn't detect any fear within Han Senator instead, they felt an overwhelming sensation of calm and confidence in him. There was no need to be angry. There was no need to hate. There was no need to blame fate or the people around him. This powerful, placid confidence was something only superior people could possess. But now Han Sin is a ridiculously dire situation. Why is he still this confident? Exquisite and Li Kier thought that Han Sin had no reason to be so self-assured, but his confidence was so strong that it affected them anyway. They began to feel like they should trust in Han Sr. Come on, 
Keep going. I will fight you. Whether I win or lose, I will walk out of here alone, Hansen said calmly as he looked at Shale. Yes, this is how it should be. Shale's eyes flared with excitement. He looked at Hansen as if he was looking at his favorite piece of art. Perhaps Hansen's power wasn't as strong as Shale's, but Shale wouldn't underestimate him. The substance chains around him exploded madly. He was like some leonine power of darkness that had crawled up from the depths. Because of the respect I have for you, I will fight with all my power. Shale's voice was like thunder as he swung his fist at Hans Sr. Chapter 2682 Demonic Power The fist leapt forward, and the shadow that trailed behind it looked like a raging lion. Hansen didn't even have enough time to dodge. The scary lion's shadow had already washed over him. Hansen looked stable, though. Spell turned into armor to protect his body, and he used God's wonder to quickly flash away. He was attempting to evade the crazy shadow of Shale's punch. BZ's T. Suddenly, Hansen felt as if the physical space around had been sealed. He couldn't rip space and teleport away as he wished to. He could only see the crazy lion shadow punch coming down on him. Hansen frowned. He gathered up power in his fist to throw a punch back at the lion shadow punch. But Hansen's punch went through the lion shadow punch. It was like the lion shadow punch really was just a shadow. When the lion shadow punch actually landed on Hansen, it wasn't as hard as he expected it to be. The punch went into Hansen's body and vanished. Boom. Hansen's presence turned black, and his image warped until he started to look like Shale. His entire body was consumed by a black fire, and he looked identical to his opponent. Hansen frowned. He realized that he hadn't been hurt, and his power had become the same element as Shale's. Aside from that, there had been no negative effect. No damage had been dealt to him, either. But as the black fire finished spreading over Hansen, Shale said, My demon lion power isn't destructive, but it will transform your body's element. I guess it is a demonic power. If you cannot hurt your opponent, then what is the point of your demonic power? Hansen asked. Millions of different powers exist throughout creation. I cannot break down every single one, but no matter what power my opponent might have, I transform their element into my own. Since I am familiar with this sort of power, none will be able to beat me, Shale said. When Hansen considered the ramifications of that, he realized how scary Shale's power truly was. At his current rank, Hansen's power simply wasn't as great as Shale's. If Hansen was able to depend on his various elements and his special skills, he still had a chance to defeat Shale. But now that his power had been converted into an element that Shale was already extremely proficient in wielding, Hansen could no longer compete. Even if he was incredibly compatible with this new element, there was no way he would be as dexterous as Shale with its use. He wasn't going to be able to defeat Shale with the man's own power. Bring your enemy into the same harmony as your own, and then wipe your foe out with a symphony of destruction. Why does Shale's power suddenly seem to remind me of something? Hansen thought to himself. But Shale wasn't going to give Hansen much time to think things over. He swung another punch at him. With a sinking feeling, Hansen began to understand just how debilitating the conversion of his power had been. He wasn't physically damaged, and with time, he could have gained enough understanding of this new element to use it in combat. However, a high-level opponent like Shale wouldn't give him enough time to adapt. Teleport. Keep teleporting. Hansen began to depend solely on God's wonder to keep himself out of Shale's reach. He was unable to rally his defenses and fight back. Turning the tide of this battle was going to be difficult. Hansen wasn't familiar with his new power at all. He had no idea what the power inside him could even do. He didn't know what its features were. No matter which Geno art Hansen tried to use, he could only cast power in Shale's strange element. Hansen is going to lose, it seems, Li Xuecheng said. His eyebrows painted him as a very happy man. Everyone now knew that Hansen didn't have a chance. He was beneath Shale's level and he was both weaker and slower than Shale. Now that his power element was the same as Shale's, under such extreme circumstances, how could anyone expect Hansen to come out of this fight victorious? This would have been true of any person of Hansen's level who found themselves confronted by a monster like Shale. Even if another deified creature went up against Shale, they wouldn't be able to defeat him if they were forced to use his element. Shale's demonic power was quite mysterious. Copying the powers of an opponent wasn't exactly rare, but his power was able to force his opponent to copy him. It was a little unfair, truth be told. Open Sky Elder had a wry smile. 
Chi Yu Elder shook his head. There is a reason for Shale's fame. This is why he is called the best against those of the same level. Every power has an element it is weak to. No matter how unique an elite's power is, there is always some other power that will suppress it. But Shale's demonic lion power ignores that universal truth. His ability is scarier than anyone can imagine. Hansen focused his entire mental power on developing familiarity with the power Shale wielded. But time was too short. He could have used this new power in basic combat applications, but fighting someone like Shale was next to impossible. Ping. Hansen was too late teleporting away this time. Shale's punch struck his arm, and Spell turned into armor to protect him. But even so, Shale's strike still almost shattered the bones in his arm. Hansen could use God's Wander, but so could Shale. And Shale was quite skilled with the technique. Hansen kept teleporting away, but he couldn't shake the opponent on his tail. As the fight progressed, he was incurring more and more wounds. Ping. Hansen took a punch straight to the chest. His body shot away like a cannonball and slammed into the seal. The power that bound the arena trembled for a moment. Hansen's body hit the ground, and he couldn't help but cough up a mouthful or two of blood. His chest felt like a cinder block had fallen on it. Hansen knew the heat was likely just the blood inside his lungs. In fact, his lungs weren't the only part of him that was suffering. Hansen's entire body was covered in injuries. Many parts of his spell armor had been cracked. The worst place just so happened to be his chest. The right side of his chest had been dented inwards. The spell armor was practically broken, and Hansen's body was not doing well. One of his arms was just hanging loosely beside his body. It felt as if all the bones inside him were broken. He couldn't even move. One of his legs had been shattered, too. Hansen could only kneel on the spot. Hansen couldn't remember the last time he had been in such poor condition. Even when he was sucked dry by the shield of the Medusa's gaze, he hadn't been so grievously injured. But even so, Hansen didn't feel like giving up. He was more excited than ever, actually. That excitement came from the spell armor. Although his armor appeared to be on the verge of falling to pieces, it suddenly seemed as if it was going to break through. The story of genes was the hardest Geno art to develop, out of all the arts he was proficient with. Under Shale's powerful suppression, it seemed as if it was going to combine all nine tiers into one. He was going to become half deified. Almost there. I only need a little bit more. Hansen reviewed the sensations running through him in detail. He seemed to be on the cusp of breaking through, but it still felt as if he was missing something. It was like he was trying to scratch his feet through his socks, but he couldn't quite satisfy the itch. Let us end it here. Shale wasn't interested in continuing this fight any further than he had to. Even though he had admitted that Hansen was a worthy opponent, Hansen was just a ninth tier king. Hansen didn't have what it took to fight him. He was hoping for another fight when Hansen became deified. Shale swung his fist again. The terrifying power of the blow was like a dark, roaring, demonic lion, which was headed straight for Hans Senator, and Hansen was still half kneeling on the ground. Chapter 2683 Leveling Up to Half Deified Shale's punch roared down toward him but Hansen didn't plan on trying to evade it. He used the left hand that he could still move, summoned power into his fist, and threw a punch. Why even bother? Losing is better than dying. The fox woman sighed mournfully from the distance as she watched. The seal was right behind Hans' senator, he could teleport away before the punch came down on him, and it seemed like the only viable choice to ensure his own survival. But he didn't. Instead, he carried on fighting with his now broken body. But considering how injured and outmatched he was, it seemed unlikely that any strength he mustered would be enough to withstand a punch delivered by Shale. He doesn't know his place. Kill him. Li Yuzhen clenched his fist into tight, white-knuckled balls. His eyes were red as he shouted spitefully at the video feed. Li Xuecheng was the same. This fight was about to end in exactly the way he had been hoping for all along. They were going to win the bet. There was no way that Han Sin could avoid the punch that was coming down on him. And there were only two possible results of trying to block that blow. He could either die or be disabled. Whichever actually happened, Hansen couldn't reasonably carry on fighting. No one was going to stop Shale from reaching first place in the silkworm bout. Ping. Hansen's fist struck that scary punch. The armor that protected his fists and his arms exploded, and Hansen's entire body flew forward. As he sailed through the air, his spell armor shattered to pieces like a broken vase. Game over. Open Sky Elder was very sad to see this. 
He thought he had lost his open sky jewelry. Exquisite and Lee Kier's faces changed. Hansen's heart never gave up hope. He kept sending them the message that he could keep on going, no matter the odds, but his self Geno armor was broken and his body was severely injured. Hopefully, he would survive, but he couldn't keep on fighting. Now, they could only pray that Hansen didn't succumb to the remaining force of the impact. Exquisite was tempted to leap onto the battlefield to save him from doom. Many of the very high people who had believed Hansen was going to win were now all silent. Hansen had tried his best, but there was too much of a gap between the powers of a king and a deified. Shale was too strong, and so they couldn't blame Hansen for losing. However, their hearts bled when they thought about everything they had bet and were going to lose. Only Li Xueqing and Li Yuzhen were excited enough to start jumping around with glee. They almost hugged each other. After this fight, they'd reap a bounty of rewards. The resources they were about to receive might support them all the way up to the deified butterfly class. And on top of that, they'd also lay claim to priceless treasures of untold might. Ping. Hansen's body slammed against the seal again. Li Yuzhen and Li Xueqing were ready to start clapping, but they suddenly froze in place. They weren't the only members of the audience who were staring in shock. Everyone was. After Han Sen's body hit the seal, he didn't fall to the ground. He just remained where he was. He was floating. That broken body of his was releasing a weird shockwave that they could barely detect. Then, his form became shrouded in bright light. But when they looked closer, they could see that it wasn't a bright light. It was a cloud of white powder like dust. And the white powder was gathering around Han Sen's body. In the blink of an eye, a white set of armor had wrapped itself around Han Sen's body. The broken spell armor was back, and it looked as good as new. No, it was even more powerful than before it had been damaged. The symbol on the armor was shining brilliantly, releasing a scary presence. The holy light wrapped slowly around Hansen's body. He was like some god spirit from a holy mountain. He is becoming half deified. Exquisite and Lee Kier were the first to react to this. They could feel that Hansen's power was exploding and the breadth of its magnitude. In the middle of all that, he became half deified. This guy is too much. Many of the very high who were watching the fight looked absolutely stunned. It was possible to level up during a fight, but leveling up required a lot of power to support. In Shale's case, he had already taken in the demon fruit, and he was supremely powerful already. So, it made a certain amount of sense that he was able to break through during a fight and become deified. But Hansen's body was entirely broken. His self-armor had been wrecked. In that injured state of his, it should have been impossible for him to level up. But Hansen had become half-deified in that situation. It was a difficult thing to grasp. So what if he is half-deified? Half-deifieds are just another form of king class. He can't fight Shale, Li Xueqing snarled, gnashing his teeth. He wasn't happy to see this. He only hoped Shale still had what it took to kill his opponent quickly. But Shale merely looked at Han Senator, he didn't attack him like Li Xueqing wanted him to. You are a perplexing man. You became half deified, even in the middle of all this, Shale said while looking at Han Senior. It was just a stroke of good luck, Hansen said with a smile. Shale shook his head with a grave sense of gravitas. There is no such thing as luck in this universe. Luck is a rigged lottery. Any winner might think that they are lucky, but no matter how lucky they are, they wouldn't have one if they never bought the ticket. Hansen didn't say anything. He really hadn't been depending on luck. Just before Shale's last punch, Hansen had finally come to understand the key that would allow the nine tiers of the story of genes to combine into one. He realized how to become half deified. That was why he had taken that punch. That power was enough to make his spell armor break completely and then rebuild itself. But what a shame. If you were deified, we could really see which of us is better, Shale said with a look of regret. We can still find out, I think. Like I told you once before, our fight has not yet ended, Hansen said expressionlessly. Shale shook his head and said nothing. He was happy to admit that Hansen was strong, but half deified was still king class. Hansen wasn't as strong as him. He still didn't think Hansen had enough power to challenge him. Brother Han, let us end this here. The Apollo set can be set aside for now. When you become deified, you can fight me for it. And if you win, you can take the Apollo set, Shale said after a brief moment of thought. A good opponent was like a fine wine. It needed time to truly reach its potential. Shale wanted Hansen to become deified before he fought him again. 
But Hansen didn't have the patience to wait that long. Seeing that Shale wasn't going to attack, Hansen decided to stop talking. Instead, he lifted his hand like a knife, then used Fong to strike at Shale. Shale frowned. He had already decided to end the fight. He gathered up demonic powers again, and his fist became a demonic lion that went straight for Hansen's body. Just like before, Shale's fist blurred forward, and Hansen's power transformed into the demonic mirror of Shale's own abilities. It is the same. Does Hansen not understand that if his power is forced to match Shale's, he can never beat him? Li Xueqing trailed off halfway through his statement. The demonic power had definitely sunk into Han Sen's body, but the powers that Han Sen was using for his attacks were not demonic like before. The teeth knife he lashed out with was still a purple knife. It was not affected by the demonic power. Chapter 2684 I Am The Path The power of Han Sen's spell armor had been static for a long time. Earlier in the fight, it had been unable to block Shale's demonic attacks because the man had simply used too much force for it to repel. But now, the spell's nine tiers had been combined and condensed into one. Its power solidified, and that new density allowed the armor to ignore the difference in power between the two fighters. Its energy could no longer be converted to the demonic element. Shale was a bit shocked by this twist. He used his demonic powers a few times more, but try as he might, he was unable to change Hansen's element. He had realized that Hansen had discovered a way to fight back against the demonic power he wielded. Hansen is somehow holding off the demonic power. That is a bit unexpected, Open Sky Elder said with raised eyebrows. Although the demonic powers no longer change him, he is still a half-deified going up against a deified. There is a large gulf in power. It will still be an incredibly difficult fight for Hansen if he seeks victory, Chi Yu Elder said. Even so, as small as it may be, he stands a chance. Open Sky Elder put all his hopes on Han Sin's newfound opportunity. Although Shale's demonic power had lost much of its effectiveness, Han Sin was still suppressed by his opponent's might. There was still a staggering difference in their power levels, and Han Sin's Geno Arts had only been reinforced to a half deified level. It still wasn't going to be enough for Han Sin to fight a deified elite. Under constant pressure from Shale, Hansen had to keep changing his movements. He teleported and dodged, keeping Shale from landing a fatal blow. Hansen still didn't have enough power to engage Shale directly. Every move Shale made carried dangerous strength, but Hansen was managing to keep him from hitting his target. Exquisite and Lee Kier could feel the calmness in Hansen's heart. Every time they saw Hansen on the brink of death, he would surprise them and turn out no worse for wear. They were on the edge of their seats, and the rest of the audience was even more nervous. Hansen was walking a tightrope. If he wasn't careful, he would fall into a bottomless abyss. Although his situation looked perilous in the extreme, Hansen was holding on. Beneath Shale's oppression, he was able to avoid further injury. The cons of Shale being from a smaller race are finally coming to the surface. Li Chun Xiao sighed in his heart. Shale was very talented and he could challenge all sorts of geno arts and perform miracles with his ordinary punching techniques. With his demonic powers, he could go against any deified elite at the same level. But now, his demonic powers weren't working. That meant the simplicity of his punching techniques might not cut it. No matter how good a driver someone might be, that skill would still only allow them to drive a car. Even the best driver in the world wouldn't suddenly develop the ability to fly planes. Shale's punching skills were so simple. He could only use ordinary methods as he tried to win this fight. He didn't have the power to simply end the fight in a moment. He definitely had an advantage, but he had been unable to take Hansen down. If Shale could practice in Outer Sky for a few more years and learn many more top-class Geno arts, with his power and talent, he could definitely defeat Hansen, Li Chun Xiao thought to himself. He went on to think, this Hansen is strong. Any ordinary half-deified would find themselves completely outmatched by Shale. They couldn't fight him. Within a repetition or two, Shale would analyze their skills and break them. But Hansen's skills have been repeated many times, and yet Shale still cannot break them. Li Chun Xiao could sense everything that Shale was feeling. Although the fight had changed dramatically, Shale was still determined to do his best to crush Han Sr. But Li Chun Xiao could see that there were many moments Shale was certain he would get Hansen, but each time, he failed to lay a finger on his opponent. Li Chun Xiao began analyzing Shale's mind. He finally discovered why Shale was unable to break Hansen's skills. 
Shale needed to see a Geno art to see through his opponent's flaws. And Hansen's use of Geno arts was not flawless. There were too many flaws, to be exact. When Shale tried to make use of these flaws, he soon learned that the flaws were traps deliberately laid by Han Senator. They didn't do much harm to Han Sin's use of his skill, but they were enough to trap his enemy and provide Hansen with some breathing room. Every technique had flaws. There was no such thing as an unbreakable Geno art, but Hansen hid the true flaws of his skills within artificial flaws. For every real flaw, there were nine ones to throw his enemy off course. He let Shale guess which flaw was the real one each time. But even after all this time, Shale had been unable to guess which flaw was the correct one. There are 50 paths to choose from, and there are 49 you can pick. Take away one, and it will become a fixed number and a variable. Imperfection is this world's true perfection. Hansen has learned the meaning behind what it means to take away one. This guy is so scary. When he grows up, he might end up better than the kids of the very high. Open Sky Elder stared at the battle with wide eyes. I have heard his self-geno arts have required a lot of resources. Even with four years in the very high, I don't know if he will make it to deified. Even if he does become a primitive deified, who in this universe could provide him with enough resources to keep him going beyond that? Chi Yu Elder shook his head. He wasn't very hopeful of Han Sin's future. What a shame. If he was born as a very high, he might have been another Li Chun Chiyo. We would give him all the resources he required. He could have entered the Geno Hall for sure, Open Sky Elder said. Don't even think about it. You know old stubborn won't let an outsider become a true child of ours, Chi Yu Elder said with a wry smile. Upon hearing that, Open Sky Elder sighed and said, Sometimes, I envy Zhang Xian Dao this guy. At least he can do whatever he wants. We cannot do anything. Chi Yu Elder's face changed. You can only say that here. Don't let old stubborn hear you say something like that. You know there are harsh feelings still lingering about the sky betraying our people. Open Sky Elder shook his head and said nothing. He continued to watch the fight between Hansen and Shale unfold. Shale's punches were like demonic lions. Every punch looked as if it could swallow the sky and eat the sun. Hansen was like a small boat surfing the crazy waves of the sky and the ground. But no matter how scary Shale's fists were, he was still unable to defeat Han Sr. A single kernel of corn on a big sea. Hansen was that kernel, but he could float. It didn't matter how much the sky and earth raged, they couldn't take him down into the abyss. Now, Hansen's mind was very clear. He used under the sky and God's wonder. He kept casting from his hands, one after the other. Every knife seemed as if it flipped the sky and the earth. He had practiced knives for so long. He had learned from the minds of many others. But now, it was Han Sin's own will and mind that Shale was putting under pressure. The sky and the ground are the chessboard. I am one of the chess pieces, but as they move across the sky and the earth, the meaning of the chess pieces is increased. There are a thousand ways for them to be used, and you need a chess piece to follow a path. Without a chess piece, there is no path. Han Sin's heart suddenly opened up within him, and he spoke as if he was in a trance, under the sky, I am the path. If I live, the path lifts. If I die, then the path dies. Chapter 2685, Learning Knife Mind Hansen's voice wasn't very loud, but the very high and a few of the silkworms were focusing very carefully on this fight. They heard everything Hansen said. You are crazy. That word suits you very well, Li Yuzhen coldly grunted. He had to be insane. And Li Yuzhen wasn't the only person thinking that. Even Open Sky Elder and the people who wanted Hansen to win believed everything he had said was way too crazy. The path was the universe. The universe was the path. When they considered Hansen's words, he seemed to be saying that his life was the sole reason for the universe to exist. If Hansen died, the universe would die along with him. Across history, even the true god elites wouldn't have dared to say something like that. There were not many true god elites, but there were a few in every era. How many were currently alive was unknown, though. And even when they died, the universe never died along with them. And right now, Hansen was someone who had just become half deified. In truth, his words didn't even qualify as crazy. They were simply ignorant. But people misunderstood what Hansen meant. The I he was referring to did not mean himself. He was referring to everything. Everyone was like a chess piece. They were controlled by the strings of fate. But without those chess pieces, the chessboard was meaningless. 
It didn't matter how good a chessboard was, it was a dead object. The chess pieces could lead to many events and combinations of moves, which was what led to a path. A chess piece led to a path and a road to traverse. Without a chess piece, there was no path. When Hansen understood the meaning of this, happiness rolled through him. He was too happy, and it was that glee that prompted him to speak it out. People thought Hansen was crazy and ignorant. Only Lee Kier and Exquisite could understand the way Hansen truly felt. Their pretty eyes fluttered strangely. Hansen had gained understanding, which meant they understood as well. They were drowned in the will of under the sky. That will was so strong that they would only see something like this in a select few of the strongest very high currently living. But on this day, under the influence of that powerful will, they had learned something new. How could they not be surprised and happy? This understanding is already beyond what a normal deified could manage. Lee Keir had a very complex look on her face. She was happy, but she also couldn't believe what she was witnessing. Hansen was only a half deified, and yet, he could understand the entirety of that will. Hansen had self learned all of this, and his under the sky knife skills were supremely strong now. Before, he only used knives. But now, the knives were infused with his own understanding and knowledge. It was like he had given life to a concept. Before, although Hansen hadn't been injured by shale, he had seemed to be on the brink of disaster. Hansen had only been hanging on by a thread, and he could have been killed at any moment. But now, all of a sudden, things seemed different. Hansen was still suppressed by shale, but the audience sensed that he was more relaxed than ever. Even within this danger, he seemed to be oh so relaxed. He didn't feel nervous or crushed. Hansen used his hands like they were knives. The knife skills he deployed had a solid feeling to them, and it made people feel as if he had set things up like this deliberately. But now, Hansen could use his skills at will, with almost casual ease. It was like every attack was unleashed randomly, yet he continued to fight with the exact same precision, and sometimes even more. The sky and the ground are a chessboard, and I am the chess piece. Every breath and every sense are a path. Hansen was totally drowned in the will of under the sky. As his knowledge of it deepened, his attacks seemed to become even more random. But at the same time, it seemed like the universe itself was guiding his movements. As attacks rained down on him, there was a sinking feeling in Shale's gut. Yes, he was feeling terrible. Although Hansen wasn't putting him in any serious danger, Shale felt as if everything had gone horribly wrong. He couldn't tell what precisely had gone wrong, but everything about the fight now seemed off. The mountains were wrong. The rocks were wrong. Everything was wrong. It felt as if the world around him was now working against him, while Hansen was moving smoothly between sky and earth. It was like everything was working to assist Hans. Senator Shale didn't know what to do. This. Isn't this sky and men combined together? A technique from the very high sense? Li Chun Chiu and the others who studied the very high sense looked at Hansen as if they were seeing a ghost, with their eyes wide open. By practicing the very high sense, one could practice sky and men combined together. By connecting the skill with the universe, the sky, and the ground, a practitioner could use it to borrow the power of the universe. But that power was only available to those who practiced the very high sense. Only they should have been able to do what Hansen was doing. Exquisite could only barely scratch the surface of learning it. She wasn't fully proficient with sky and men combined together. Hansen had never studied the very high sense, but the knife skills he got from the textless book had achieved the same effect as Sky and Min combined together. How could Li Chun Xiu and the others not be shocked? Even those who practiced the very high sense found themselves shuddering. Despite his emotional detachment, Li Chun Xiu was stunned. This kid is so weird, Open Sky Elder mumbled. He and Chi Yu Elder hadn't practiced the very high sense but they were behaving as if they had never eaten pork and were now seeing a pig run. They had experienced a lot over their lives, and even if they hadn't practiced the very high sense personally, they knew a lot about it. Right now, Hansen's knife skills resembled the very high sense in Sky and Men combined together. They were shocked, but Hansen didn't think that much about it. He was submerged in the aura of his knife mind. In this universe, every blade of grass, block of wood, mountain, drop of water, and even specks of dust and bacteria, they all seemed to harness a meaning in his eyes. It was like it all had some kind of connection with his knife skills. Everything in this world is a chess piece. Every chess piece can be used in a certain way. And you combine all these pieces to compose a game of chess. 
The chess piece that isn't connected is actually connected. Every chess piece can affect the entirety of the game. And what I need to do is become a chess piece that can change the course of this game of chess. Hansen kept trying to understand. I don't need a special power. I only need to use my power in a place that requires me the most. If I go swimming, I would be a fish. If I went into the sky, I would be a bird. I would go along with the universe, the sky, and the earth. And I will help the sky, the earth, and the universe. Hansen's knife skills were becoming more and more unpredictable, and those random attacks were causing Shale a lot of trouble. The very high that had previously mocked Hansen for being crazy and ignorant had now fallen silent. Hansen should have been at an incredible disadvantage, but right now, he didn't seem to be struggling at all. Instead, Shale's attacks were the ones that seemed stiff. They didn't seem so smooth anymore. How very interesting. He's used under the sky to create sky and men combined together. Those very high elders are going to go crazy with jealousy as Yushanshin watched Han Sin's remarkable knife skill. The corners of his mouth rose. His smile was strange and unreadable. Chapter 2686 Under the Sky Knife Li Xuecheng and Li Yuzhen's faces were turning green. They felt like they were going crazy. Their eyes were full of red, bloodshot lines, and they clenched their fists tightly, unaware that their nails were digging into the palms of their hands. They were like two madmen as they watched Hansen make battle. Impossible. This is impossible. They felt as if they were going to suffocate. A half-deified was fighting a deified and was no worse for wear. It made them feel more and more nervous about how things were going to turn out. They were afraid that the unthinkable might actually happen and they might lose their bet. No way. There is absolutely no way that a half-deified can defeat a deified in combat like this. Plus. This deified is the one and only Shale. Our fears cannot come to pass. I am positive Shale will win. Li Yuzhen hissed slowly, gnashing his teeth. It was like he was speaking to himself as much as to Li Xueqing. His eyes remained glued to the screen in front of him. Shale's eyebrows were furrowed slightly. Although he was still in charge of the situation, he did feel as if there was something wrong. Every move Hansen made seemed to be guided by the hand of God. Shale had difficulty repelling even the most casual slash that Hansen directed toward him. Ordinary strikes were more effective than should have been possible. Regardless of how much he analyzed Hansen's techniques, Shale didn't understand what was happening. Shale wasn't someone who was willing to just lay down and let himself lose. So when he felt that something was wrong, he made the best decision he could. The hellish flames around his body roared high, and he ignored Hansen's attacks and rushed toward his opponent. No matter how dexterous you are with your skills, your power is no match for mine. My power will crush you, and your skills alike. I can summon enough force to break your techniques. Shale was like a demon god. He carried scary substance chains with him as he thundered forward to suppress his foe. Hansen's knife air slashed at him, but the substance chains crushed it. Hansen was unable to break through the substance chains to damage Shale's body. Hansen didn't panic, though. His body floated from side to side like a cloud. Shale had gathered an immense amount of raging power, but he was unable to hurt Han Senator. It was like watching a little boat go up against a big wave. The big waves were going wild, but they couldn't flip the boat that effortlessly surfed from crest to crest. Hansen was like a holy man that could ride the wind. His body was brimming with the energy of his knife mind. Shale continued to bump Hansen around, but he couldn't ruffle Hansen's clothing. Mishi watched Hansen and Shale's fight with a gaping mouth. Well, Shale. He was wondering if Shale was going to lose, but he realized he shouldn't make such a suggestion in front of Li Chengqiu. So, he swallowed the words. I'm afraid he is going to lose. Shale is strong, but he comes from a bad place. His practice time was too short. If there had been another three years to train him, perhaps he wouldn't be in this situation, Li Chengqiu said coldly. Bishi nodded. That kid Hansen is lucky, eh? But by the way, his knife mind really is something quite special. It exudes the presence of sky and men combined together. That isn't sky and men combined together. He is just following the will of the sky, Li Chengqiu said. Compared to you, big brother, he is nothing. But compared to ordinary people and creatures, his will is disturbingly impressive, Bishi said after a moment. Li Chengqiu nodded and said, Exquisite and Li Qir both use Han Sen as their silkworm. Outside of the very high, a genius like this is very rare. Open Sky Elder looked very relaxed right now. He smiled and said, 
deified. So what? Even if you're deified, you are still going to lose. My eyesight isn't too bad. Chi Yu Elder looked at him with disdain. When Shale became deified, Open Sky Elder looked like he was watching his own parents die. But of course, Chi Yu Elder didn't say that out loud. As the fight went on, more and more of the very high noticed that Han Sin's grim situation had taken a turn for the better. Shale fought with bestial strength, but he still couldn't bring damage to Han Sr. Han Sen's knife skills are very good. They are more than good. They are top class. They really are knife skills that come from the sky. Of course, the sky were kicked out by our race. We should expect this from one of their knife skills. Hey, hey, how about this? If Han Sen really does achieve first place, I wonder what that asterisk Sholi Shui Cheng's face will look like. I still don't think he will win. Han Sen's knife skills are strong, but his power isn't any better than Shale's. Shale cannot hurt him, but he cannot hurt Shale. This fight will end without a winner, but neither will there be a loser. If they fight long enough, maybe the stamina of the half-deified will deplete. With the deified having greater stamina, he will be able to outlast and win that way. Who knows? You're making a lot of guesses there. Haha. Uh -huh. If Hansen takes first place, Li Xue Qing's face will look brilliant. Li Xue Qing won't be the only person devastated. Li Yuzhen will be in the same boat. Without Li Yuzhen, Li Xue Qing would never have known treasures weren't allowed to be used in this silkworm bout. I really hope Hansen wins. And then, I want to see the faces of those two asterisk souls. How dare they try to trick us? Li Xue Qing and Li Yuzhen's faces already looked fairly amazing. Their eyes had almost popped out of their sockets as they watched the battle video. He won't lose. Shale will not lose this. He will win. He will win. The two of them were going insane. Their mouths kept repeating those sentences. The unease within them was growing with every passing second. The sky and the ground are like a game of chess that keeps changing. Everything is like a knife, and they all have a path. Shale, try to taste my under-the-sky knife. Hansen's knife mind was like a volcano that could no longer keep its magma inside. It erupted in a large fountain at Shale. Hansen used his hand like a knife and slashed towards him. Good job. Shale had power but there had been nowhere for him to use it. Now that Hansen wanted to fight directly, this was perfect for him. Scary substance chains gathered on his fist, and he threw his fist forward to meet Hansen's attack. Buzz. Space rippled and shattered under the force of Shale's punch. Substance chains that looked like demon lions ripped through reality around him. Lion mouths became giant black holes in space, and they tried to swallow Hans Sr. But Hansen remained unmoving. His hand kept swinging downward, but no knife air appeared around his hand. His hand fell in a simple cutting motion. The sight filled the audience with confusion. As they watched, they saw all of the mountains and rivers of the valley, the grass, the flowers, and the woods become consumed by a knife light. All different kinds of knife lights all across the valley lit up. Night lights suddenly seemed to make up the entire landscape around the two fighters. And all of those attacks were coming for shale. Countless knife lights crossed each other. There were so many, it was like a flood. All of them surged toward Shale and his demonic lions. Shale summoned the power of his substance chains. He wasn't afraid of those king-class knife lights, but he realized belatedly that there were too many of them. Scary demon lion punch powers and substance chains were breaking in the middle of that knife light. Chapter 2687, Apollo said. At that moment, all anyone could see was the image of Hans and thrusting a blade forward. Every object in the universe seemed to be releasing a knife light. They all followed the will of Han Sen's blade, pulling together into a barrage of knife lights that covered the sky and the ground. They were all coming together around Shale, who looked like a demonic lion. Not even an elite like Shale could block knife lights that appeared to have been generated by everything in the universe. The demonic lion surged toward Han Sen, determined to push through the tide of knife lights. He was breaking through the rush of attacks like a dam against a flood. Impossible. Shale cannot lose a fight like this. No, no, no. Li Yuzhen and Li Xue Cheng's jaws were clenched and their nostrils flared. And then, their mouths fell open. They were too stunned by the sight before them to even make a noise. In their hearts, however, torrential tears of sadness were coming down. But their inner cries wouldn't be able to save Shale. As the knife lights flooded into Shale, appearing relentlessly from the sky and ground, the demonic lion began to break. Shale's body couldn't take it anymore. The moment the demonic lion broke, 
The substance chains across Shale's body were shattered by the flood. The knife flights began to slash directly across his body, and his deified form was dealt a river of wounds. The knife flights were only half deified in level. One slash, ten slashes, even a hundred slashes, wouldn't have been enough to damage the deified Shale. But these knife flights were beyond counting. Their numbers appeared infinite, and as they attacked in ceaseless succession, not even Shale's deified form was able to withstand the strain. Of course, this was all because of Shale's deified body wasn't strong enough. If he had achieved true invincibility, it wouldn't have mattered how many knife lights were thrown at him. Regrettably, his body wasn't that strong yet. Seeing Shale's body inside that flood of attacks, with blood flying everywhere, Li Yuzhen and Li Xuecheng almost collapsed to the floor. Open Sky Elder and the others, however, were in sheer euphoria. Exquisite and Li Kier were immeasurably happy, too. They could feel Han Sen's knife mind with Under the Sky in operation. By watching this fight, they had been able to learn Under the Sky knife skills. Ultimately, that scary flood of knife lights hadn't come directly from the sky or the ground. Not even a little. It was all a knife light Han Sen had already cast. After it broke, it melted into the sky, the earth, everything there was. He used the powers of the sky and the earth to reconstitute that energy into knife lights. This was similar to knife silks, but even better. The sky and the ground themselves had become carriers for the knife lights. After the knife lights were generated, they appeared in every element imaginable. They had become far scarier than the pure knife silks that Hansen had used for so long. The knife lights that broke and entered water, after they regenerated to become knife lights again, would carry the water element with them. When the knife lights melted into the soil of the mountains, after they generated again, they would carry the elements of the mountains. But under the sky still relied on Hansen's own powers. It had taken a long time for Hansen to accumulate enough power in his surroundings to pull off this attack. The more Hansen used knife lights during a fight, the stronger the knife light flood would be when he finally activated it. That meant the skill required a lot of time to prepare. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to unleash such a vast amount of power. Under the sky is decent. With this skill, Hansen can fight others of the same level or a higher level. If he can repeat this whenever he wishes, he will be an unbreakable combatant. If he can last a long time, then when under the sky explodes, others of the same level would never be able to block this knife light torrent that is absolutely everywhere. It was unfortunate Shale ended up going against Hansen, Li Kier concluded with a sigh, looking at Shale. His body was out of his control. The endless flood of knife lights were tossing his body away like flotsam on the ocean. To beat Hansen, he would have had to defeat him quickly. Hansen's enemies will have to defeat or suppress him in a short amount of time, lest they end up losing, Exquisite said. His use of Under the Sky is excellent. It allowed him to completely dominate Shale right at the end. It looks like I will have to focus on training Shale against this power. When they fight again, Hansen will not be able to use Under the Sky knife anymore, Li Chuncho coldly said. He didn't get emotional about Shale's failure. Instead, he analyzed precisely why Shale was losing and how he could further perfect Shale as a warrior. Hansen slashed and then stopped. He didn't allow the flood of knife lights to rip Shale entirely to shreds. He raised his hands and the knife lights everywhere shattered. They rose and disappeared. The valley was returned to the sound of silence. You win. Shale stood up. He could still fight, but he was now willing to concede to Hans Senator after standing up he teleported to someplace beyond the seal. He knew Hansen had dismissed the attack halfway instead of using its full power. If Shale had taken the full force of those knife lights, he would have been torn to pieces. So, continuing to struggle was pointless. Li Xuecheng and Li Yuzhen were kneeling on the ground. Their eyes were frozen, and they could scarcely believe the result. They couldn't accept it. What do we do? We have to pay back a huge debt. In the open sky jewelry, the minds of the pair were struggling to work. Just one knife skill was enough to mimic Sky and Min combined together. This Hansen is fantastic material. It is a shame he is just a silkworm and not a genuine heir of the very high. Open Sky Elder was delighted that he had won the bet, but he couldn't help but feel that Hansen's low status was a terrible shame. After the fight with Shale, no other silkworm dared challenge Han Senator they fought each other and eventually departed the valley. In the end, only Hansen remained inside the seal. When all the others had left, the seal was lifted. At the same time, a square, bronze chest appeared. 
It descended from the sky, carried by warm light, to land beside Hans Sr. Hansen grabbed the bronze chest and opened it. Inside were the seven pieces that comprised the Apollo set. Hansen didn't bother pretending to be humble about all this. He put on the Apollo set immediately. There was a helmet, an upper chest piece, a lower torso piece, a pair of gauntlets, and a pair of battle boots. Seven deified treasures now clad his body. The chrome of the armor made Hansen look like a mirror man. When Hansen put on the last piece of the armor, a giant, silver pair of wings appeared on Hansen's back. They really did make him look like Apollo, shining in the sky. Many of the silkworms looked at Hansen with great envy, but Hansen actually had the audacity to complain. What kind of crap is this Apollo set? It's like I'm wearing a light bulb. This makes me stick out like a sore thumb. I'll be brighter than the sun itself. The enemy will see me coming from tens of thousands of miles away. It's not like I'll be able to hide in the bushes when I'm wearing this thing. It's like a giant, bright, neon target. Although Hansen was complaining, the Apollo set did exude a powerful aura. That made Hansen very happy. His half-deified power wasn't enough to activate the full might of the Apollo set just yet, but it would still complement his current standing. It could already generate a few minor substance chains. And that was especially true of the Apollo wings that had appeared behind him. They gave Hansen a speed that could rival a primitive deified. He might have even been a bit faster than Shale. Hansen spread the Apollo wings, then teleported next to Lee Keir and Exquisite. His speed was far greater than it had been before. This is similar to the power I gain when I use the Peacock Soul Rope. The Apollo wings don't give me as much speed as the Peacock Soul Rope, but the power of the Apollo set isn't fully activated yet. Once it is used to its full potential, I might be able to fight larva deifieds like Mang Lai. Hansen admired his Apollo set. He really loved it. Chapter 2688 Broken Underworld Silk The smoke and the fog were as heavy as rain. There was a garden that housed a lake, and Lee Keir and Exquisite were sitting at a stone table nearby. They appeared to be in a state of confusion. Have you thought about Under the Sky's Floss? Exquisite asked, glancing at Lee Keir. Lee Keir shook her head. What about you? Exquisite shook her head as well. She frowned and said, For us, silkworms are a way of gaining new understanding. However, they aren't merely tools for learning. Our situation now is both good and bad. On the positive side, we're learning a lot from Hansen, and he's allowed us to feel what having a truly powerful will is like. He will help us accelerate our growth. But if we keep learning and following him, we will simply be copying his progress. We will be aping him, so to speak. And no matter how closely we try to replicate what he has done, we will never achieve what the true Hansen can accomplish. The path we tread must be one that leads to glory greater than our silkworms. We need to trailblaze a path of our own. But with the way things are now, that might be a very difficult prospect. Li Kier cut in quickly. Perhaps, but Hansen's will is too strong. At our level, we won't be able to pinpoint his flaws for our own betterment. The fact that we can confess something like that is terrible, without a doubt. He is supposed to be our silkworm. We are not supposed to be his. If Hansen leaves the impression that we cannot exceed his talents, then we are already limited by him, Exquisite said with a look of seriousness. In that case, what do you propose we do about it? Lee Keir couldn't think of a way around this problem. If Hansen left an indelible impression of invincibility on their peers, then their achievements would be forever overshadowed by his own. That wasn't the sort of silkworm they were looking for. Hansen needs to lose once. A loss is the only way that impression of him can be erased from our hearts, Exquisite said. Even Shale lost to him. I highly doubt that any other silkworm will come close to rivaling him in the near future. Lee Keir looked at Exquisite with confusion. She wasn't entirely sure what her third sister was implying. Why do you suggest it has to be a silkworm? Now that Hansen has achieved first place, he should be able to go to jail Demon Hall. He can start practicing there. First, it will be a great help for his own abilities. Secondly, he will probably get crushed. Once that happens, he will lose his confidence and cockiness. Thirdly, it will break the image we have of him. We'll have a hard time viewing him as being so incredible if he gets defeated. That sounds like three birds with one stone, if you ask me, Exquisite said coldly. This is a brilliant idea. Now, let us go and register his application to enter Jail Demon Hall. Open Sky Elder earned a lot from Hansen, so I doubt he will refuse his request to go there, Lee Keir replied merrily. 
Han Sin and Bauer were still fishing at Underworld Lake. Lee Kier gave an Underworld silk to Bauer, so Han Sin no longer had to share his own. But Han Sin was still feeling quite depressed. After he fished up the Xi'an Yellow Sutra, the only things he had pulled from the lake were utter trash. Rusted armor and broken weapons were a frequent sight. He had even collected bits of broken statues and the like. One time had been particularly bad. While he was fishing, he latched onto something super heavy. He had instantly assumed, based on the weight, that he had snagged something amazing. He spent half the day reeling it in. When he finally pulled it free of the lake, it was just a three-meter-tall statue with shoulders and legs missing. Han Sen's lungs almost exploded. Bauer was sometimes able to fish up pieces of jewelry. Han Sen didn't know what they were for. And also, the entire time, the sixteen pigs continued to follow Bauer around. They frequently munched on Bauer's snacks, but they didn't grow at all. They each remained the size of a fist. They looked small and cute, but as far as Hansen could tell, they were completely useless. If they were not spending their days eating and sleeping, they were sleeping and eating. It was either that or following Bauer's asterisk SS and running around everywhere. Dad, come here. There is something coming. It is so heavy, Bauer suddenly exclaimed. Hansen quickly approached her, and he started tugging the string. It really did feel like something absurdly heavy. It was like the other end of the string was attached to a small mountain. Hansen and Bauer used all their strength as they tried to reel in the underworld silk from the lake. After pulling it for a while, they finally saw something coming up from below the swirling clouds. They could see its corner as it rose from the mist. What is this thing? Hansen looked shocked when he saw the item. Based on what he could see, Hansen could tell that the item was built from bronze. It had an opening that was one meter wide at the top and narrowed as it went farther down. As the bronze item was slowly pulled up, more and more of it appeared above the fog. Hansen could soon see that this bronze item's opening was one meter in size. It was a statue of a sheep's head. No, not a single sheep's head. Each of the object's four corners held a sheep's head. This thing. It looks like a four sheep cube. Hansen thought to himself when the bronze item finally slid into full view. Ping. It sounded as if something had broken. Although the bronze item had almost completely been removed from the lake, its ascension came to a halt. The underworld silk holding the statue had snapped. Hansen watched the four sheep cubes sink back into the mist of the lake. He didn't know if it was an illusion or not, but Hansen could see the four sheep heads seem to smile strangely at him as the object disappeared. Hansen stared at the lake in confusion. The underworld silk had broken with ease, which was a first. Hansen and Bauer had spent a long time fishing with underworld silks, and never before had this happened. Now, the underworld silk had simply snapped without them understanding why. He wanted to ask Lee Kier and Exquisite, but they weren't present. Hansen had nothing else to do except continue his mellow fishing experience. It has been a few days. Mr. White should have some news for me. I should ask Lee Kier to take me to the desert again, Hansen said to himself as he continued fishing. He had a simmering sense of excitement regarding the Xi'an Yellow Sutra. Hansen wouldn't even have to practice the strange Geno art. He only had to reverse his Blood Pulse Sutra to make use of it. How lucky was he to stumble on such an easy new Geno art? I hope the Xi'an Yellow Sutra is useful, Hansen thought to himself. But then he suddenly heard Bauer shouting, Dad, something is coming. Come and help me. Hansen saw Bauer's small hand clutching the underworld silk. She seemed to be struggling. The underworld silk had latched onto something heavy that kept the line taut, just like earlier. Hansen raced over to her and grabbed hold of Bauer's underworld silk to pull the next item up. Whatever he was bringing up now was heavier than the four sheep cube. Hansen and Bauer fought against that immense weight. There was a power that was pulling downward, struggling against them. They were on the verge of losing the underworld silk or getting pulled into the lake themselves. The sixteen little piggies came over, too. They all stood in a line to bite the underworld silk. Then they leaned back, pulling it like a big game of tug o' war. Put your back into it, comrades. One, two, one, two, two people and sixteen small piglets were pulling the silk. They all shouted. After half a day, they finally saw something emerge from the lake. When they finally saw it, Hansen couldn't help but shout, It is the four sheep cube again. Chapter 2689, Jail Demon Hall we managed to fish it up again. Hansen was shocked. He thought about the four sheep cube that plummeted back down with the four eerie faces smiling at him. 
He looked closely at the heads of the sheep. He jerked back in surprise. The bronze sheep had their eyebrows lowered, and their eyes were half-closed. They looked like monks that were meditating. They were no longer smiling as they were earlier. Are the expressions on the four sheep heads different? Hansen wondered to himself. Then, he heard a pang. The underworld silk snapped again. Hansen watched the four sheep cube quickly sink again. This time, he could see the bronze sheep heads clearly. Their meditative expression was gone now. The sheep smiled creepily. It looked as if they were squinting their eyes to look at them. Is that thing alive? Hansen wondered curiously. But before he could examine it any further, the four sheep cube was lost in the lake once more. Now this is weird. Why have we fished up the same thing twice in a row? And why does that thing seem as if it is alive? Do living creatures actually exist in the anti-material world? Hansen pondered. He didn't know much about Underworld Lake, and he would have to wait for Lee Kier and Exquisite to return so he could ask them. Many more occurrences followed that one, though. Bauer managed to fish up that four sheep cube a number of times. She could never pull it all the way up, though. The object would always detach and fall back into the lake. As for Hansen, he only ever managed to fish up useless garbage. The triangular symbol on the small jade figure lit up. Hansen knew Lee Kier and Exquisite were on their way back. Not long later, he saw them appear via teleport on the shores of the lake. Hansen, I understand you are always keen to hunt Xenogenex, yes? We have found a suitable location for you. There are primitive deified Xenogenex to kill, and it is safe. You will have the chance to take down a primitive deified Xenogenex solo, Lee Kier said with a smile. There's such a good hunting ground out here? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Hansen asked, looking at Lee Kier with suspicion. Before the silkworm bouts, there were places that you weren't qualified to enter. Now that you've earned first place among the silkworms, though, things are different, Lee Kier explained. I see. Hansen's mind wandered back to the four sheep cube, so he told them about his experience trying to fish it out of the lake a few times. When they heard the story, Lee Kier and Exquisite's faces both went gray. Exquisite looked at Hansen and asked, The four sheep cube you fished up. Would you say it was three or four meters tall? Exquisite described the four sheep cube she was thinking of, and it turned out to be the exact same one Hansen had seen. Yes, that is the one. Is there a problem with it? Hansen asked, glancing at the two women's expressions. He knew there was something dodgy about this. Likir and Exquisite looked at each other. Exquisite said, This four sheep cube is something the very high have fished up before. After saying that, Exquisite stopped. And then? Hansen asked. Let me explain. Lee Kier looked at Hansen with a strange face and said, Our people have fished up the four sheep cube before. But that thing is not an omen of good luck. All the very high who fished up the four sheep cube ended up having misfortune fall upon them. Hansen heart jumped. He frowned and asked, What happened to them? Were they injured? Or did they just end up dead? Lee Kier shook her head. They were neither hurt nor killed. According to the histories of the very high, there were three very high that fished up the four sheep cube. One of them was the one who made the sky and sky palace. Isn't that a good thing? Why would you consider that unlucky? Hansen didn't understand what she was trying to say. Building a race and becoming supremely powerful was something glorious. Why would they consider that a misfortune? Well, with a wry smile, Lee Kier went on to say, the second very high that fished up the four sheep cube had something happen to him. It made him kill his parents. And then, you betrayed the very high. After pausing, Lee Kier said, the third one that fished up the four sheep cube ended up stealing an important treasure from the very high. Then, he disappeared. Where he went, no one knows. So whoever fishes up the four sheep cube is from the very high, and they have all betrayed the very high. Now Hansen understood why the four sheep cube might have been deemed unlucky. Although there is no proof, there are records that confirm that the four sheep cube was connected to all three. Exquisite had a wry smile. Hansen coughed awkwardly. I'm not from the very high. I will leave one day. That doesn't mean I will betray you one day, does it? Exquisite went very quiet, then said, The three very high that I talked about only fished the four sheep cube once. They never saw it before or after that one time. But you seem to have fished it up six times. Although the whole betrayal thing is just a guess, this item is considered taboo for our race. You and Bawa should never again mention the fact that you fished up the four sheep cube. It is best not to stir up any trouble. Hansen nodded. He had originally thought it might be a useful item, 
but he'd had no clue it was actually so profoundly unlucky. He wasn't going to mention what he fished up to anyone else. That being said, he didn't know many people in the very high. Even if he wanted to tell someone else, there was no one he could tell. Let's go. You two shouldn't visit Underworld Lake for a while, Exquisite said to them. Then, she teleported Hansen and Bauer away from the lake. Hansen asked Lee Kier about the place they were headed, a location known as Jail Demon Hall, and what sort of Xenogeneics he would be able to kill. He learned that the place used to be a mere cave, but the very high built a palace atop it. Calling the structure a palace was a bit misleading, though. In actuality, it was more like a prison. A Xenogeneic had lived in the cave beneath Jail Demon Hall for a long time. The creature lacked the power to escape its prison, but after a while, it learned how to create a doppelganger that could enter the palace above the cave. The doppelganger was a primitive deified. Now, every so often, the Very High had to go to jail Demon Hall and kill the doppelganger to make sure that the xenogenic state contained. Likir and Exquisite had already filled out the paperwork that would allow them to hunt in jail Demon Hall. Now that his request had been granted, Hansen would be given the chance to solo a deified Xenogeneic. A primitive class deified Xenogeneic, huh? I can test the strength of my Apollo set this way and earn a deified Xenogeneic gene as well. That is two birds with one stone, Hansen thought happily. The peacock king beast robe and the six core snake bow were items Hansen didn't dare use while Ikir or Exquisite were around. He didn't want them to realize that beast souls and treasures were different. His new Apollo set would do a great deal to help Hans and keep his secrets. The four of them went to jail Demon Hall. There, Lee Kier pulled Bauer to the side so that Hansen could enter jail Demon Hall alone. The rest of them would wait outside. Hansen wasn't suspicious. He thought they just wanted to get more of his battle experience and knowledge, and that was why they had asked him to go and kill the doppelganger Xenogeneic. He pushed the door open and entered jail Demon Hall. Chapter 2690 Scary Primitive Deified Xenogeneic Jail Demon Hall had been built for that Xenogeneic. When Hansen entered it, he couldn't feel the restrictive effects. The hall's architecture was incredibly strange. The floors of an ordinary hall were usually flat or subtly sloped as they led up toward a stage. Inside this hall, however, all four sides of the hall led down a series of broad steps to a 10-meter-long stone platform at the bottom. The stone platform was covered in symbols that Hansen had never seen before. Although he had no clue what they meant, he could sense a strange power coming from the runes. An ink-black stone pillar sat in the center of the stone platform, and it ran all the way up to connect with the hall ceiling. The upper portion of the pillar was covered in engravings and markings, but Hansen's attention was instantly drawn to the pillar's base and to the creature that had been bound there. That creature looked vaguely humanoid, but the body was insectal. Its shell was blood red, and a red horn rose from its head, making it look something like a unicorn. Its eyes also flashed with a bloody, crimson color. It was full of rage and murderous desires. While Hansen observed that trapped creature, the creature stared up at Hansen. Two, it suddenly opened its mouth and revealed the jagged, saw-like teeth that adorned its maw. It let out a high-pitched scream at Hans Sr. It began to thrash around violently, and when it moved, the markings across the stone pillar lit up. The chains attached to the pillar also began to glow. They tightened their grip on the creature, making it harder for the furious being to escape from the stone pillar. It really is a primitive deified. Upon seeing the red substance chains appearing around the creature, a delighted expression crossed Hansen's face. Outer Sky had many Xenogeneics, but most of them were very frightening. It would have been too risky for Hansen to go out and pick a fight with some random Xenogeneic. Now, a primitive deified Xenogeneic had been handed to Hansen on a platter. Hansen was extremely pleased with the way this was turning out. Hansen donned his Apollo set, and then, the Apollo wings fluttered slightly. They sent him zipping toward the stone platform in an instant. He turned his hand into a knife and slashed at the xenogeneic bound to the stone pillar. Hansen was still using under the sky, but with the extra strength that the Apollo set was giving him, a frightening substance chain knife air was unleashed as he activated the skill. His attack was like a sunlight blade as it came down against the xenogeneic's neck. The xenogeneic hissed like a viper, and its red substance chains exploded like a volcano. It broke free of the restraints of the stone pillar, and its talons flashed toward Hansen like red blades. Catcha. Hansen's knife air was as strong as the strike of an ordinary primitive deified, 
But against that Xenogenix clause, Hansen's attack didn't stand a chance. Before Hansen could even attack, the creature had brushed aside his attack and rushed within striking distance. The hand knife and the claws collided. The claws left deep cuts across Hansen's gauntlet. Three bloody scratches across his hand before it oozed blood. Fortunately, Hansen was able to react quickly. He abandoned his attack and then teleported away. If he hadn't reacted instantly, the creature's blow would have amputated his hands. Why is it so strong? Hansen wondered in shock. He had just finished teleporting away when the Xenogeneic was in front of him again. Its claws came down on his chest, cutting straight through the Apollo armor like it was made of butter. The wings of the Apollo set flapped. Hansen quickly retreated, putting more distance between himself and the Xenogeneic. But there was a glow of bloody light around the creature's body, and it came for him again like a rocket. Its speed was unfathomable, and again, its claws were digging into Hansen's chest. The red substance chains became claw-like lights, and they carved five grooves deep into Hansen's chest. His ribs were almost visible through the wounds. Is this guy really just primitive? Hansen muttered in consternation. He used under the sky and teleported rapidly as he attempted to get ahead of the Xenogeneic. But it was a futile endeavor. The Xenogeneic seemed to predict every movement Hansen sought to make. Hansen had only just moved away when the Xenogeneic was in front of him again. Hansen screamed, his voice strained. A talon had perforated his stomach. If Hansen hadn't teleported away fast enough, his guts would have been strung across the floor. He was fortunate that the Apollo set was a deified treasure. But even so, beneath the sharp claws of that malevolent Xenogeneic, it seemed no stronger than wet tissue. It didn't have the defensive properties that a deified set of armor should have given him. Hansen no idea what to do. Although he was fighting a primitive deified, it was only a doppelganger. His true opponent, the real body controlling the creature before him, was a scary true god deified. This body was just a doppelganger, but it was undoubtedly the best that a deified could be at primitive class. It was in a whole different league than Shale, who had just become a deified. Even more frightening, its will and its movements were true god class. Hansen was very proud of his will and power, but before a true god, his capabilities were measly. He was borrowing power from the Apollo set so he could fight at a deified level, but he still couldn't endure the Xenogeneic's attacks. Every very high that came to defeat this doppelganger would usually encounter a larva deified for them to kill. Transmutation class deifieds would still take a long time to kill. Exquisite and Lee Kier had told Hansen this was only a primitive deified. They hadn't told him how scary the creature was, though. Once Hansen realized how powerful it was, he knew he shouldn't push his luck and continue trying to fight it. He used his teleportation abilities to escape jail demon hall. The attacks he had already survived had left him bloody and injured. If he kept going, there was no doubting the fact he would end up dead. Is that Xenogeneic really a primitive deified? Hansen asked, still clutching the wound in his belly. He looked at Lee Kier and Exquisite with suspicion. It is true. It really is a primitive class deified, but he is the greatest primitive deified alive. We thought that with your power and will, you could fight it. That is why we signed you up to take it on. I can only suppose we were too hasty, Exquisite said, making sure that her voice sounded quite serious. Her facial expression was a carefully crafted mask of disappointment. In her heart, she was actually thinking, it is good for you to suffer failure every now and again. We don't want you getting too cocky in the future. Lee Kier provided her own sort of comfort. She smiled and said, Losing here is perfectly understandable. After all, you aren't yet deified. Not being able to beat that fiend means nothing. How about this? We will find weaker deified xenogeneics that are easier for you to defeat. Hansen knew Lee Kier and Exquisite wouldn't be lying to him about this stuff. If they said that the xenogeneic was a primitive deified, then it probably was. That xenogeneic really was strong. Hansen paused observing Exquisite and Lee Kier. Then, he said, is there a time limit to kill this Xenogeneic? It will take six months for the Jail Demon Hall's Xenogeneic to build up enough power to escape its prison. Usually, our people try to kill it within three months, just to be on the safe side. If it escapes and gets in contact with the other Xenogeneics in Outer Sky, it might be able to save its true self, Lee Kier said. If there is still time, then I will try to defeat it again. Hansen didn't want to just give up. Chapter 2691 Xian Yellow Sutra Of course you can. If you are confident enough, 
You can try as many times as you want. But this doppelganger has already been here for a month. If you cannot kill it in the next couple of months, we will have to send in a deified elite that is strong enough to kill it. So, remember, you have a limited amount of time, Exquisite said. That should be more than enough, I should think, Hansen said with a nod. He was still thinking about the fight he had just endured against that Xenogeneic. Hansen thought his fighting power was decent at this point, but that Xenogeneic had completely suppressed him in every way imaginable. Aside from the power gap between them, there were also important differences in the ways that the two of them fought. Now that he thought about it some more, he realized he had been completely suppressed. He had lost in the most embarrassing way possible. It was just a doppelganger, and yet, it had such a scary amount of power. I wonder how strong its true self is then? Hansen wondered to himself. Exquisite and Lee Keir looked at each other. They had played Hansen perfectly, and now they could barely suppress their laughter. Hansen didn't know that the doppelganger he battled was different from most other doppelgangers. It was kind of like a child of the true god Xenogeneic. Although its power was indeed primitive class, the battle experience it possessed, and its skill and will, were top-notch. Hansen was the only person who would struggle to defeat such a beast. Even most deifieds would lose badly against this opponent. Let him lose a few more times against it. Let's wear him down a bit, Lee Keir smiled and thought to herself. Hansen's wounds recovered quickly. To aid his self-recovery power, Lee Keir and Exquisite provided him with a geno-fluid produced from xenogenic genes. It was very good for healing one's physical wounds. With the combination of those two powers, every speck of damage had disappeared within seven or eight hours. Over the next few days, Hansen went to the Jail Demon Hall to do battle against the Xenogeneic. He came up with many different plans to bring the creature down, but every attempt was useless. The longest Hansen was able to last inside was two minutes. Once he was done, he had to teleport away. If he hadn't, he would have been killed. He would only be given a sliver of time to cast his knife airs. Even when he used Under the Sky, it seemed to do nothing to the Xenogeneic. Not only did he fail to kill it, but he couldn't inflict a single wound on his foe. It really is too strong. Hansen couldn't help but compliment how frighteningly powerful his latest Xenogeneic opponent really was. But despite his repeated defeats, he never thought about giving up. As soon as his body recovered, he went back to the jail demon hall to fight. He was determined to find a way to kill it. But every time he went there, he would leave disappointed. The Xenogeneic was too strong to be predictable, and so Hansen couldn't figure out the creature's patterns and use those to manipulate it, either. The more Hansen went, the more Lee Keir and Exquisite started to worry. They had only wanted to get rid of some of Hansen's pride. They wanted to use that Xenogeneic to wear down his resolve. But if he kept going on like this, and he eventually broke down completely, they would have a destroyed silkworm on their hands. Fortunately, they hadn't sensed any sign that Hansen was about to give up. Although he kept losing, after each failure, he would just start thinking about how he might defeat the beast the next time he did battle. His entire mind seemed devoted to coming up with ways to defeat the fiend. He never wasted brain power on thinking about anything else. That made Exquisite and Lee Keir feel a little safer with what they were doing. They just hoped that the time limit would pass soon. Then, Hansen would have no choice but to give up. It wouldn't destroy too much of his confidence, they predicted. No, that still won't work. Hansen failed again. He dragged his body, which was riddled with slashes and puncture wounds, out of the jail demon hall. He shook his head. Exquisite and Lee Keir weren't there. Because Hansen now spent his entire days either fighting or healing, they stopped hanging around after the first few days. It was dull. They would occasionally come back to feel how Hansen felt during the fight, but not all of the time. Also, due to the fact that Hansen kept losing, they were only learning how to deal with failure. That didn't help them much. Because there wasn't much else for them to learn, they stopped focusing on his thoughts as much. It looks like taking down that Xenogeneic won't be easy. Hey, wait. It's almost time to meet up with Mr. White. I need to go to the core area. Hansen thought about the Shin Yellow Sutra, and he realized it was time for him to take a break from fighting. When he saw Lee Keir again, Hansen mentioned his need to visit the core area again. Lee Keir hastily agreed to his request. She and Exquisite had grown worried about Hansen's constant fighting in the jail demon hall. They were worried that being defeated endlessly might do too much damage to his confidence. Now that Hansen had expressed a desire to go to the core area, 
they thought it was a best-case scenario. Lee cured De Hansen back to the oasis so he could enter the core area. Of course, Gu Qiqing was there at the place they were supposed to meet. When he saw Gu Qiqing there, Hansen couldn't wait to ask, Okay, what did you learn? Did you receive news from Mr. White? This is what Mr. White asked me to give you. Gu Qiqing passed a notebook to Hansen, alongside the original version of the Xian Yellow Sutra. Hansen accepted them and put away the Xian Yellow Sutra. He opened up the notebook to have a look. The pages were filled with an elegant script, which had clearly been written by hand. The notebook had a hundred pages, and almost all of them contained notes. There were only two or three pages that were empty. Clearly, Mr. White had put a lot of effort into this. Mr. White really is so nice. There weren't many people who were as kind as Mr. White, Hansen decided. He was the sort of person who did impressive things and achieved a lot. He was no common man. Instead of leaving the core area, Hansen remained there to read Mr. White's notebook. He didn't want Lee Keir and Exquisite looking over his shoulder as he studied, metaphorically speaking. The content of the notebook was a detailed analysis of the Xi'an Yellow Sutra. It also had notes on the problems it might cause in the aftermath of using it. As Hansen read through the content of the notebook, he learned a great deal. And not just about the Xi'an Yellow Sutra, either. He began to understand the Dongshan Sutra and the Blood Pulse Sutra to a higher level. Mr. White is a real grandmaster. Compared to him, I am just a peasant with some good luck and a bit of motivation, Hansen murmured, shaking his head as he closed the notebook. Actually, Hansen's compliment wasn't strictly accurate. Everyone's path to study was different. Mr. White had focused on acquiring knowledge. He knew so much, which put him on a higher plane than Hansen when it came to intellectual pursuits. But then again, Hansen wasn't the sort of person who focused on amassing huge amounts of knowledge, so it wasn't strange that Mr. White outmatched him in that area. Comparing the two men in such a singular way wasn't very fair. Hansen memorized everything that was written in the notebook, but he didn't want to destroy it. After all, Mr. White put in the time and effort to write it all out by hand. Take this back to Planet Eclipse and ask Zero to hide it. Hansen gave the notebook to Gu Qiqing so she could take it back. After Gu Qiqing left, Hansen tried to digest the content of the notebook. The more he thought about it, the more shaken he felt. Based on what Mr. White had described, if Hansen finished practicing the Xian Yellow Sutra, it would become a very scary power. Is it really possible to reverse blood pulse? Hansen was shocked. If what Mr. White told him about the Xian Yellow Sutra was accurate, it was terrifying. Chapter 2692 For Your Convenience In his writing in the notebook, even Mr. White had admitted that his thoughts on the Xian Yellow Sutra were only theories. He hadn't tested any of these predictions in the real world. To find out how much power the Geno Art would really have, Hansen would have to practice it. Mr. White did mention, however, that there were risks associated with practicing the Xian Yellow Sutra. The Geno Art could theoretically reverse a person's bloodline, but doing so would be very dangerous. Attempting such a feat would have consequences throughout Hansen's body. If his body was unable to withstand those effects, the ramifications could be dire. Hansen was very tempted to learn it because of the scary powers that the Xian Yellow Sutra offered, but the risks were severe enough to make him hesitate. Since I don't need to practice the Xian Yellow Sutra and I don't actually need to use it, there is no point in me trying to reverse my bloodline. After Hansen came to this conclusion, he decided to put the Xian Yellow Sutra out of his mind. Now, he turned his attention back to the Xenogeneic and Jail Demon Hall. He had less than a month to go. If he was unable to kill it in that amount of time, then he would lose this opportunity. He would need to wait for the next doppelganger to show up before he could fight it again. How can I kill it, then? I will have to wait until the Kier and Exquisite are somewhere else so I can try to kill it with a different Geno art. That's my best chance, Hansen thought to himself. When he left the core area, Lee Kier was there waiting for him in the oasis. Why are you back here so soon? Lee Kier wasn't worried like she had been the last time. She was actually surprised to see him return so quickly. In truth, she had been hoping that Hansen would stay in the core area until the Xenogeneic in jail Demon Hall was killed. I was just meeting up with a friend. I don't have much time. I need to kill that Xenogeneic in jail Demon Hall, so I couldn't stay there for very long, Hansen said. You're really going to keep trying, aren't you? You're planning on returning to jail Demon Hall, Lee Kier said to Hans Sr. Why shouldn't I keep going there? 
It is rare to tackle such a powerful enemy, and it isn't as if I have to worry about my safety. This is the perfect opportunity for me to hone my skills, Hansen said with sincerity. Li Kier looked at Hansen, her head tilted slightly to the side. She could sense that Hansen was speaking the truth. No matter which race they came from, ordinary people would struggle to maintain their drive and dedication in the face of such overwhelming failure. Most people could only have their dreams crushed so many times before they gave up. Hansen had failed many times already, but he hadn't been broken down. His resolve was strong, and he clearly intended to keep on going. That sort of personality had its upsides and downsides, that was for sure. Likir opened her mouth to say something, but no words materialized. She didn't want to destroy Han Sen's positivity. Whatever. There is only a month left. With his unbreakable determination, it shouldn't bode too ill for him, Likir thought to herself. After returning to jail Demon Hall, Hansen continued to challenge that xenogeneic every day. And every day, he kept failing. After two weeks had passed, Li Kier and Exquisite rarely visited anymore. He had failed far too many times, and he had yet to learn anything new. There was no reason for them to spend time watching such pointless fights. While he was occupied doing his own thing, the girls wanted to practice the knife skill under the sky, which they had learned from Hans Senator, although their mental access to Hans Sen's personal experience made it easier for them to cast the powerful skill. They were still having difficulty getting anywhere close to the talent Hans Sun had with the skill. He is very talented when he fights. This kind of knife skill and knife mind are very rare to see. He should be a great help for us when practicing the very high sense, Lee Kier complimented. It is a shame he isn't one of the very high. Otherwise, with his level of talent, he might be able to practice the very high sense, Exquisite said, her voice carrying a distinct note of regret. Lee Kier sneered slightly. What is good about practicing the very high sense, anyway? I don't want to become one of those cold-blooded monsters. If I was given the choice, I would have never decided to practice it, at all. It is because you have a tin armor talent. Those with an armor talent that high must practice the very high sense. That is the rule of being one of the very high, Exquisite said. But why me? I really wish my talents were below nine armors, Li Kier grumbled. Hansen lost his next fight. He stumbled out of jail demon hall, covered with injuries. But then, he suddenly saw a very high man standing outside the hall looking at him. Hansen didn't recognize this very high, but the man's eyes definitely looked hostile. This guy can't be Li Xuecheng, can he? Hansen thought to himself. In his time in outer sky, Li Yuzhen and Li Xuecheng were the two people he had offended the most. He had seen Li Yuzhen before, but he had never seen what Li Xuecheng looked like. Even if this man wasn't Li Xuecheng, he was probably related to those two. Hansen, you have been using Jail Demon Hall for two months. If you cannot kill the Red Blood Demon, then get out of there. Don't waste people's time, Li Xuecheng said, staring at Han Sr. Li Xuecheng and Li Yuzhen had lost everything after the Silkworm fights. All they had left were their undies. Their parents had helped them pay back most of their debts, but they still owed a lot to a lot of people. Right now, the two men had nothing. Literally nothing. Even the resources they needed for practice had to be used as payment for others. Li Xuecheng had the idea of fighting the Red Blood Demon. The Red Blood Demon's Xenogeneic gene was required in order to craft a particular deified treasure. If he could get his hands on that Xenogeneic gene, then Li Xuecheng could use it to earn more resources. Li Xuecheng couldn't kill the Red Blood Demon alone, but he had his family backing him. If his family helped, he could probably take down the Red Blood Demon. But when Li Xuecheng went to Open Sky Elder to request admittance to jail Demon Hall, he was told that Hansen had already registered there to be the one that killed it. He would have to wait until Hansen failed before applying again. Li Xuecheng didn't believe Hansen had what it took to slay the Red Blood Demon. So he came to the jail Demon Hall to see how things were progressing. And there, he found Hansen getting repeatedly wrecked by the Red Blood Demon. Exquisite told me I still have a month to go from the time I was allotted when I was signed up. Is that incorrect? Hansen asked coldly, meeting at Li Xuecheng's gaze. If you don't have the required power, another month won't make any difference. Why not just give up now? Save yourself some time and stop inconveniencing others, Li Xuecheng shot back. I see. You say others, but you really just want me to do something that will benefit you, Hansen said to Li Xuecheng, squinting slightly. You are correct. 
Rather than staying here and wasting everyone's time, just quit and save us all the trouble, Li Xueqing said flatly. You are right. Making the lives of others more convenient is a nice thing to do. I shouldn't waste someone else's time. I should have finished here sooner, Hansen said with a nod. He looked like he was agreeing with what Li Xueqing said. That is a reasonable way of thinking. If you want to cancel your registration, you must visit Open Sky Elder. I can take you there, if you want, Li Xuecheng said, expecting Hansen to genuinely throw in the towel. No, no, no. You misunderstood me. I will kill the red blood demon. Therefore, there will be no need for you to waste more time waiting for me, Hansen said with a laugh. Chapter 2693 Blood Marrow Geno Fluid Kill it? What? Are you going to kill it with boasting? Li Xuecheng looked at him with disdain. The red blood demon wasn't like ordinary primitive deophytes. Not even Han Sin's Apollo set would be enough to let him fight the creature. Han Sin had already stated his intentions. He was going to kill the red blood demon. Han Sin acted as if it would be the simplest thing in the world, but to any of the very high, it would have sounded like he was daydreaming. If you don't believe me, then feel free to wait around. It isn't my time that's being wasted, after all. Han Sin shrugged, as if he didn't care one way or another. After that, Hansen settled himself next to the stone pavilion to rest. The damaged Apollo set would take a while to recover, as well. Fortunately, the Apollo set was good at mending damage it had sustained. If it hadn't possessed such advanced self-repair abilities, it would have been a pile of scrap metal already. Red Blood Demon's fighting abilities are overpowered. If I was already a primitive deified, killing it would be easy. But right now, as I am... Depending on the power of treasures will make it very difficult for me to bring this beast down. Hansen kept thinking about how he fought before. He was trying to find a way in which he might kill the red blood demon. Because Exquisite and Lee Kier had been focusing on practicing under the sky, they hadn't been visiting Hansen very often. Hansen thought that he was right on the precipice of his chance to succeed. He just needed to find a chance to fight the red blood demon when they were not around. Then, he could use whichever Geno art or be solely fancied. Li Xuecheng frowned. The very high were very strict about their rules. Even though he was one of the very high, he couldn't circumvent the rules. If Hansen wasn't going to give up, Li Xuecheng really would have to wait another month. If Hansen couldn't kill the red blood demon before the time limit, Li Xuecheng could register for permission to enter and slay the fiend. But Li Xuecheng was being hung to dry. He was in a rush to get as many resources as possible, so he didn't want to wait a month. He rolled his eyes. He walked to the stone pavilion, looked at Hansen, and said, You said you will find a way to kill the red blood demon, right? That is correct, Hansen said with a nod. He had been fighting the red blood demon for a while now, and he hadn't really gotten much out of it, other than a general understanding of the red blood demon's capabilities. Very good, Li Xuecheng said, nodding to himself. Then, he turned around and left. That surprised Han Senator he wasn't sure what the man meant by that. Hansen had thought Li Xuecheng would hang around and annoy him for a while, but the man left without another word. Hansen thought about the expression he had seen on Li Xuecheng's face, though. It was unlikely that the man would give up so easily. Li Xuecheng left Jail Demon Hall to seek out Li Yuxian. You know that Hansen has been in Jail Demon Hall trying to kill the Red Blood Demon, right? Li Xuecheng asked Li Yuxian. So? Does it matter whether I know this or not? Li Yuzhen was annoyed by just hearing Han Sen's name. He had lost so much on his wager during the silkworm fights. Although his family had paid off much of the debt, he still had a lot he needed to repay. Paying it all off would be incredibly difficult. At this time, Li Yuzhen was in no mood to wonder about what Han Sen was doing. Just thinking about how to pay off all of his debts was enough to make his head explode. I was going to ask for someone's help to kill the red blood demon and gather more resources, but Hansen registered to kill the red blood demon before I did. I need to wait another month before I can register. Li Xuecheng explained what had happened. What is that supposed to mean? Li Yuzhen didn't understand why Li Xuecheng was bothering to tell him all this. The very high were strict when it came to the law. The two young men had no choice but to abide by them. If Hansen had already registered for permission to hunt, then as long as he didn't concede, no one could go there and attempt to steal his kill. As far as I know, he has been in the jail demon hall for a while. He has been fighting the red blood demon every day. I don't think he can actually kill the red blood demon. I think he wants to use the red blood demon to practice his fighting skills. 
I think he will keep going until his time there is up, Li Xuecheng said. Is there a problem with that? Many of our people do the same thing. Li Yuzhen still didn't understand what Li Xuecheng was talking about, but he knew the other man had to be hinting at something. Upon hearing Li Yuzhen say this, Li Xuecheng laughed, but there was something sinister in the sound of his laugh. He said, you know that many students of our race have done this in the past. Why have fewer attempted such a thing in recent years? That is because, Li Yuzhen trailed off halfway through his response. He now understood what Li Xuecheng was getting at. He looked at Li Xuecheng with shock and said, you want to use the glitch in jail demon hall to kill Hansen? That isn't very nice. If the rest of our people find out, it will be considered a huge crime. We might end up being exiled to confinement on a small and empty island. Not if Hansen activated the glitch himself. If that happened, it would have nothing to do with us, Li Xuecheng grinned darkly. He then went on to say, he was the reason that we lost everything. Are you really going to sit back and accept that? Jail Demon Hall's restrictions originally weren't as strong as the real body of the Red Blood Demon. Because of that, the beast almost managed to escape. When it was realized how close the Red Blood Demon came to escaping, our elders added another security measure to guarantee that the Red Blood Demon could never break free. If the doppelganger gains enough power to break out of the first level of restrictions, then the extra security protocol goes into effect. Jail Demon Hall instantly goes into complete lockdown. A long time ago, one of our primitive deified warriors was battling the Red Blood Demon. The Red Blood Demon became enraged and activated that special restriction. When the Jail Demon Hall went into lockdown, it trapped that primitive deified inside. He was unable to teleport away. When they opened Jail Demon Hall again, they found that the Red Blood Demon had already eaten the man. All that was left of him was a little blood on the floor. Li Yuzhen said quietly, but when that happened, they decided to modify the restrictions. They increased the level of power needed to trigger it. Unless the Red Blood Demon went completely nuts, I don't think it would be able to trigger that security measure again. Hansen can't really threaten the Red Blood Demon, so there's no way he could inspire that much fury in the creature. So, how could he trigger the glitch? If he isn't able to do it, we can help him. Every time he leaves the hall, he's badly injured. He uses very high geno fluids to heal. You've met the man before, and you have a connection to the current situation that I think we can exploit. I'm sure you can give him some better geno fluid to recover, right? Li Xuecheng said. You mean like blood marrow geno fluid? Li Yuzhen's eyes brightened. Now he knew what Li Xuecheng really meant. Blood marrow geno fluid was made from the red blood demon xenogenic genes. It was very good for recovering from injuries. Of all the healing geno fluids that existed, it was one of the priciest. It was usually used by deified elites. It worked very well for deified wounds, so its efficiency with kings went without saying. As long as a person wasn't dead, they could be healed in a short amount of time. But not many knew that because the blood marrow geno fluid was made from the red blood demon xenogenic genes, the red blood demon was very sensitive to it. Using a small amount wouldn't have much of an effect. But if Hansen used too much and then entered jail demon hall, it might trigger the true ire of the red blood demon. Chapter 2694 Triggering the Restrictions Because Hansen was being injured every day, he required a lot of healing geno fluids. Exquisite came to see him every few days to resupply him. Aside from providing him with healing geno fluids, she gave him other kinds of geno fluids as well. They could help with all sorts of things involving his body and his practice. They were fluids synthesized by the very high themselves. Due to the wealth of resources available in Outer Sky, Hansen was being given access to resources that few kings could ever hope to get their hands on. The very high didn't have a large population. They didn't have many people devoted to producing healing geno fluids, but they also rarely used healing geno fluids themselves. So, most of the time, the very high created the geno fluids quite slowly. They kept enough on hand for ordinary use. But as Hansen stubbornly continued to fight the Red Blood Demon, he had created a situation that the Very High were uniquely unprepared for. Within a month, Hansen had almost cleared out their Geno fluid reserves. If he wanted more, he would have to wait for more to be created. That meant one every few days. Why are there no more healing Geno fluids? Hansen saw the Geno fluids Exquisite had brought him, and he noticed they weren't the same Geno fluids he usually used. Rather than the healing fluids that he really needed, these other geno fluids would merely reinforce his genes and physical power. 
Even if there was a whole warehouse full of healing geno fluid, it wouldn't be enough to support the amount you keep consuming, Exquisite said. She pointed toward a box with six red geno fluids and went on to say, This is a high class healing geno fluid. They only offer it to deified fighters. Since there are no more of the weaker fluids available, you are being gifted these. Do not go through them willy nilly. If you use up these, you won't be granted any more for the next two weeks. Exquisite didn't know that blood marrow geno fluid had the xenogenic genes of the red blood demon in it. After all, few people knew exactly what was inside a medicine when they took it. The red blood demon's xenogenic genes were just one element of these fluids. They weren't even the primary ingredient. Even if Exquisite had known the xenogenic genes were in the fluid, she wouldn't have known about the potential side effects in this situation. Li Yuzhen and Li Xueqing knew about this because one of their elders had used a large amount of blood marrow geno fluid before going into the jail demon hall to kill the red blood demon. The red blood demon had instantly gone into a fury. Luckily, the man had been a larva class deified. Despite the red blood demon's rage, he had been able to kill it. Only a few people who were close to that elite knew about this. Exquisite and Li Kier didn't know much about that elite, so they didn't know how taking the geno fluid would affect the monster inside the hall. Li Yuzhen and Li Xueqing wouldn't have come up with this plan if the creature's reaction to the geno fluid was generally known. Hearing that there was an even better geno fluid that he could use, Hansen was more than pleased. If he could recover faster, he could spend more time fighting the red blood demon. Although he was unable to beat the red blood demon, he was honing his talents as he fought the creature. That was because the red blood demon had been continuously suppressing him. Hansen had gained a huge amount of experience by being so determined. This kind of wound really hurts. Hansen looked down at his chest and saw his exposed heart, which had come close to being shredded. He had a wry smile. If Hansen had lacked his impressive abilities of recovery, such a strike would have likely killed him. Opening a blood marrow geno fluid, Hansen quickly gulped it all down. He felt a warm sensation race through his body. A numb, itchy feeling passed over his wounds, and Hansen's injuries began to heal. He watched in amazement as his wounds sealed closed. This is good stuff. No wonder this is considered a superior item usually reserved for deified elites. The effects are ten times stronger than what I was using before. Hansen grinned widely when he saw the wounds heal so quickly. His wounds would have taken half a day to heal previously, but now they took less than an hour. But the Apollo set hadn't recovered yet, so Hansen had to keep waiting. Without the Apollo set, his body wouldn't last. Hansen didn't waste a single second of his free time, though. He practiced very real body and God's wander for a bit. Those two geno arts were very beneficial for him to practice with. They could be used at any time. When the Apollo set had finally recovered, Hansen decided it was time to enter Jail Demon Hall again. But to Hansen's surprise, the Red Blood Demon was sitting on the stairs staring at him when he entered. It didn't attack him as soon as it saw him. What is this? Hansen wondered. It seemed odd that on this random day, the Red Blood Demon's temper had improved so much. While Hansen wondered what it was doing, the red blood demon's body flashed with a bloody light. Its bug wings opened. The strange horn on its head flashed with a crimson that looked like a sun. Holy sh asterisk t. What is going on with this guy? Why has it suddenly exploded with a scary power like this? Hansen was very confused. He had fought the red blood demon for a very long time now, but he had never seen it so enraged. And it had suddenly gained a frightening amount of power. Before Hansen had time to consider his situation, he saw the red blood demon's evil-looking crimson eyes light up like light bulbs and turn to stare at him. Hansen didn't say anything. He just wanted to teleport away from Jail Demon Hall. Hansen couldn't fight the red blood demon at its normal power level, but now it was a raging version of itself. For all he knew, this thing could destroy his body in one punch and cripple him, leaving him no chance of teleporting away. But the moment Hansen ripped space open to leave, he saw all of the markings across Jail Demon Hall light up in a single, brilliant flash. The whole of the Jail Demon Hall was covered in a holy light. Ping. Hansen bounced out of space and almost hit the ground. He descended into a nice roll, which was how he managed to maintain his balance. What is this? Why have Jail Demon Hall's restrictions flared up and sealed the entire structure with me inside? Hansen's face changed. He looked around frantically, and he found that wavy beams of light covered every surface of the hall. The whole building was sealed up tight. 
and there was no getting out now. Hansen realized that he was in a scary and dangerous situation. Jail Demon Hall was sealed, and he couldn't use God's wonder to leave. He was trapped inside with the beast. Furthermore, the Red Blood Demon had become far more dangerous than usual. When Hansen had fought the Red Blood Demon previously, he could only last a few minutes. But now, the Red Blood Demon was in a scary mode. Thinking of this, Hansen turned his attention back to the Red Blood Demon. The Red Blood Demon's eyes were giving off red light. It looked like a small flashlight, the beam of which landed on Hans Sr. What is this? I thought we were friends. I'm just taking a break here. You go and do your stuff. No need to worry about me. Hansen forced a smile at the Red Blood Demon as he spoke. The Red Blood Demon actually smiled back at Hans Senator, but that smile sent a chill down his spine. The jagged, razor-like teeth that lined its maw were particularly menacing to see. It was like a demon that could destroy and devour anything. The next second, the Red Blood Demon let out a strange screech. Its body was like a red shadow, and it was coming straight for Hans Senator Hans Sen's eyesight couldn't read its movements, either. He saw the flash of a red shadow, but the red blood demon remained where it was. Then, another red blood demon appeared in front of him. Its sharp claws were already digging into his chest. Chapter 2695, Trapped Inside the Jail Demon Hall Pang. The talons of the red blood demon tore through Han Sen's body, and it exploded like a water balloon. The next second, the water that had separated began to gather up again. It reformed Han Sen's face. But before the water finished reconstituting Han Sen's body, the creature spread its claws again. Once more, it swung at Han Senator the red substance chains that went with the attack erupted like a volcano. Han Sen was shocked. He had used his original Water King body to escape that first strike, but right now, his body still hadn't coalesced. If he was hit again, all of his cells that had been turned into water would become nothing. Even the original Water King body wouldn't resurrect him a second time. Hansen could no longer afford to hesitate. In a moment, his body glowed pure white as he entered his super god spirit mode. The volcanic looking red substance chains went right through him, passing harmlessly through his shadow. But just as Hansen started using his super god spirit body, some strange power knocked him back out of it. He was back to his usual self in no time at all. Hansen's stomach sank. With Wana still inside his destiny's tower, his super god spirit mode had been severely downgraded. Again, it had been cancelled before he could use it to finish a fight. The red blood demon didn't give Hansen any time to think. Its body became a crimson shadow that went straight for him again. It was like a real demon, and it moved toward him too fast for his eyes to follow. Hansen teleported away, regardless. Because he wasn't trying to escape jail demon hall, he didn't trigger the building's restrictions. But by the time Hansen had teleported away, an evil smile had already crossed the red blood demon's strange face. Again, it appeared directly in front of Hans Senator, five red clawed fingers reached forward to shred his heart. Hansen's eye flashed red. That red color spread across his body, and then he simply disappeared. He went straight into the red blood demon's eye. Hansen had been pushed far enough that he had no choice but to use his blood eye evil god's beast soul. With the eye skill, he entered the red blood demon's eye. Doing this might allow Exquisite and Lee Kier to suss out the secrets of Beast Souls, but he had no choice. He couldn't let the red blood demon kill him just to keep his secrets. In the red blood demon's eyes, Hansen's surroundings were pure red. It was completely different from the eyes Hansen had entered before. Hansen felt a bit relieved for a moment. Just as he thought he had escaped all of the danger, he saw the redness around him begin to boil. The power rose up around him like scary flames of blood. That power carried a scary presence, and it turned the whole of the eye world into a flaming red sea. Hansen could feel the power inside the bloody flames. He didn't dare stay there any longer. He teleported out of the red blood demon's eyes. This guy is too much for me to deal with. As soon as Hansen teleported out, the red blood demon was coming for him with its red substance chains lashing around. It reached Hansen in an instant. Hansen's purple eye began to spin as he used the purple eye butterfly beast soul to trace the movements of the red blood demon. He used the power of all the beast souls he had, without hesitation. He used move mountain area's area beast soul and even his own dong shin area. He used jade skin, the blood pulse sutra, and more. He used everything he could to repel the monster. He pushed all of his powers to the max. 
Aside from the Peacock King soul robe that couldn't be worn in tandem with the Apollo set, Hansen used every beast's soul he had at his disposal. Even so, Hansen's power and speed were unable to close the gap between him and the Red Blood Demon. He used his formation and judgment powers to their full potential, and he barely dodged the next attack. Catcha. When the Red Blood Demon attacked for the third time, it was already too late for Hansen to avoid. The Red Substance chain brushed right by his ribs. Three of his rib bones snapped instantly, and his flesh was torn through. I have to fight for my life again. Hansen's mind was still calm at that moment, though. Thinking too much about things wasn't going to help him now. He needed to calm down. He used the full potential of every power he could to battle the beast. He had to stall for as much time as possible, also he could be saved. Jail Demon Hall has some kind of isolation protocol? The Very High must know about this, surely. I need to keep going until the Very High come. Then I can be saved. Hansen tried to comfort himself. But Hansen had forgotten one thing. Outer Sky was way too big, and there weren't many of the Very High. Jail Demon Hall was far away from where most of the Very High lived. It was in the middle of nowhere, and there was usually no reason for anyone to visit. If the Very High noticed there's something amiss, it would still take them half an hour to get there. It might even take them longer than that. Hansen didn't know if he could even last that long. At this time, Li Yuzhen and Li Xuecheng had been focusing their attention on Jail Demon Hall. When they saw Jail Demon Hall's door suppress the Red Demon Beast's light, they knew that their plan had succeeded. The Red Blood Demon had already gone mad with rage and triggered the defensive properties of its prison. They had trapped Hansen inside with the infuriated Red Blood Demon. The guy in charge of Jail Demon Hall won't be able to get here for at least half an hour. And half an hour from now, I don't think there will be anything of Hansen left to save, Li Yuzhen said with a cold laugh. Li Xuecheng looked at Li Yuzhen and asked, Is the warehouse okay? Don't worry. Everything is fine. The healing geno fluids Hansen always used are all gone. The warehouse only has the recommended, superior healing geno fluids left. No one will know that a geno fluid can trigger the red demon blood's power. Even if they found out it was the blood marrow geno fluid that triggered the red blood demon's rage, they couldn't blame me. It would just be an unfortunate event, caused by no one but himself. That is great, Li Xuecheng said with relief. He smiled and went on to say, Exquisite just gave him some geno fluids, too. She won't be here for another two days, at least. He is very dead this time. He is such a genius. It is a shame he has to die. But no one asked him to be our enemy. Exquisite and Li Kier were practicing under the sky, trying to employ Han Sin's experience to their advantage. All of a sudden, both of their phones rang at the same time. They saw the number, and it shocked them. Why is the inspection department calling us? Li Kier asked with confusion. She quickly answered her phone. It didn't take long for Li Kier and Exquisite's faces to change. Li Kier screamed. What? Jail Demon Hall's restrictions have been triggered? Because Jail Demon Hall's restriction powers had been activated, they had no way of learning what was going on inside, either. All of their scrying powers had been cut off due to the Hall's defenses. So, right now, even the inspection department couldn't tell what was happening inside the Hall. They had already sent out an agent. When they found out who was in charge of Han Sin's challenge to the Red Blood Demon, they contacted Exquisite and Li Kier. They asked if the two women knew if Han Sin was inside, because the restrictions had been triggered ten minutes before. It is over, Exquisite and Li Kier felt cold. Only Hansen had permission to hunt inside that hall, so he was the only person inside. If the Red Blood Demon had triggered the defenses, Hansen was probably the reason that it had done so. After the two of them spoke to the inspection department, they used God's wonder to travel to Jail Demon Hall. They prayed Hansen wasn't inside. But the closer they got to Jail Demon Hall, the colder they felt. That was because they couldn't sense their connection with Han Senator something was smothering their ability to feel what he was feeling. There weren't many powers that could sever their connection with Han Senator the power that bound the true god Xenogeneic within Jail Demon Hall was one of the only things that could. There was an 80% to 90% chance that Han Sen was trapped inside Jail Demon Hall. He could even be dead already. Chapter 2696 Reversing Bloodline Every second inside Jail Demon Hall was a desperate scramble as Hansen attempted to cling to life. Thus far, he had only been inside the hall for one minute, and his body had already incurred seven or eight wounds. 
Those wounds were so deep that bones were visible inside them. D asterisk him in it. This isn't the way. Hansen felt terrible. His power was no match for the monsters, and the skills he had were losing their effectiveness. I have to try this out. As Hansen teleported away, he used the moment's reprieve to pull out a piece of gear. It was a peculiar bottle. The handle was the tail of two sirens. It was the holy item siren bottle from the sirens and the extreme king. Hansen tapped on the left side of the siren bottle, but before he could take the next step, the red blood demon was in front of him. Its sharp claws were like knives, and Hansen was unable to avoid them. He immediately summoned the shield of the Medusa's gaze to block the red blood demon's scary attacks. Although Hansen couldn't use the power of the shield to attack, it still had amazing defenses. The red blood demon's claws came down on the shield, but failed to deal any damage to it. The scary power blasted Hansen and the shield away, though. Ping. Hansen's body slammed into the back wall of the hall. His entire body felt as if it had been shattered. It was almost too painful for him to stand back up. Hansen got control of his pain and teleported away. The next moment, the red blood demon was right where Hansen had just been. The red substance chains lashed out against the wall and made the spells flash. The siren bottle that had fallen to the floor was glowing weirdly. It displayed the face of the siren virgin. Siren virgin, I'm in trouble. Help me get rid of this guy. Hansen quickly shouted at the siren virgin when she appeared. Hansen had just said that when the red blood demon's talons flashed toward him again. Hansen flapped his Apollo wings and, through careful judgment, decided to veer left. He managed to evade the attack. But the red blood demon's body flashed again. Those claws were right in front of Hansen once more. Hansen tried his best to dodge, but a substance chain still connected with his shoulder. The blow opened him deeply enough to expose pale white bones inside his flesh. The red blood demon? The siren virgin said in shock when she saw the red blood demon. It's good that you know this creep. This is just a doppelganger, though. It is only primitive class. Do you know how to deal with it? Hansen immediately asked as he teleported again. With a wry smile, the siren virgin said, If my true body was still here, perhaps I could fight it. But right now, I still don't have a body. There is no way for me to help you. Although it is just a doppelganger, the red blood demon is a doppelganger that carries the battle experience of its true self. It isn't like an ordinary primitive deified. So, I wish you luck. After that, the body of the siren virgin shrank. She returned to the siren bottle. Hansen didn't have any time to be angry. The red blood demon was already on him again. He had nowhere to dodge, so he had to use the shield of the Medusa's gaze to block the strike again. Although the shield protected Hansen's body from the creature's claws, it did nothing to soften the impact of the strike. It made Hansen's body feel like it had been struck by a big hammer. Hansen was unable to fight the fiend, and he knew he couldn't escape. He was at a dead end. I can't keep going on like this. If this keeps up, my body isn't going to last. Even if I find a chance to strike back, I won't have any strength left to do so. I guess I will just have to try this. Hansen gritted his teeth. The blood pulse sutra inside his body began to surge like mad, but this time, it was different. The blood pulse sutra's path ran in complete reverse. This Gino art was no longer the blood pulse sutra. It was the Xian Yellow Sutra Hansen had fished out of the underworld lake. It was a different Gino art entirely from the Blood Pulse Sutra. Hansen was desperate. He had to try every option he had before it was too late. If Mr. White's theory of the Xian Yellow Sutra was correct, perhaps the Xian Yellow Sutra was the last thing that could save Hansen's life. If someone else had attempted to practice the Xian Yellow Sutra, it would have been extremely hard. But to cast it, Hansen only had to reverse the Blood Pulse Sutra. He hadn't even needed to practice with it. But this was Hansen's first time casting the Xian Yellow Sutra. He didn't know what would happen after he used it. The Blood Pulse Sutra's power was gunning in reverse through Hansen's body. It made him feel like his entire body was covered in static. It made him feel as if his body wasn't coursing with blood, but with electricity instead. The tingling pain almost made Hansen, a man with a strong will, scream aloud. The Blood Pulse Sutra usually released a red aura. In reverse, though, that color darkened to a red that was nearly black. It was like old, dried-up blood. The red blood demon was unbothered by this change. Its eyes still looked murderous, and it swung its claws at Hansen again. It would be too hard for Hansen to dodge. His body was in so much pain that it felt like he was going to be torn apart. 
There was no way he could dodge the next strike. Hansen gritted his teeth to endure the pain and raised his shield to protect his body. At the same time, he punched toward the red blood demon. The red blood demon ignored Hansen's fist as the claws came down upon the surface of the shield. Hansen clutched the shield desperately. He moaned in pain. The reversed blood pulse sutra released its power, and it felt as if his body was being torn apart. The pain he felt was too difficult to describe. Pang. The red blood demon's blow came down on the shield. Hansen's body flew away with the shield, but the Shin Yellow Sutra he cast also hit the red blood demon. Hansen hit the seal again, and he once more coughed up blood, but he noticed that his wounds weren't as grievous as they had been. Then, to his shock, Hansen realized that the Blood Pulse Sutra had become half deified. It had finally completed a key step in its ascension, combining the nine tears to revert back to one. He quickly looked at the red blood demon. He wanted to know if the Shin Yellow Sutra had worked or not. The results were disappointing. The red blood demon didn't look as if it had been injured. It looked the same as it always had. Its presence was oh so scary. Before Hansen could really get a good look at it, the red blood demon was already committed to another attack. Oh no, this is the end of the line for the great Hansen. The Xian Yellow Sutra didn't work, Hansen thought sadly. If the Xian Yellow Sutra didn't work, he would have to use the shield of the Medusa's gaze again but with his body already injured, using the shield would probably end up sucking him dry again. This time he could die, and it was way too big of a risk. So, despite the dire nature of his situation, Hansen hesitated to use the power of the shield. But as he hesitated, something unbelievable happened. Hansen could feel the red blood demon's power and speed lessen. Chapter 2697 Beating a Deified Hansen used a teleportation trick to avoid the red blood demon's next attack. The creature's reaction speeds were clearly much slower than they had been before. Its reduced speed gave Hansen the opportunity to slide out of range. Although Hansen was still mostly outmatched by the Red Blood Demon, he discovered that his powerful predictive abilities, when used in concert with God's Wander, were allowing him to begin protecting himself from the creature's attacks. Has the Shin Yellow Sutra started working? But this effect is much weaker than I thought it would be. It has only made the Red Blood Demon a little bit slower. Even though his thoughts were negative, Hansen was quite happy with this result. Although his enemy was only a little weaker, it was enough for him to keep going. He wouldn't be killed by the red blood demon, and that meant he could wait for the very high to rescue him. But as time went by, he noticed that the red blood demon's power was continuing to decrease. Its red substance chains became thinner and thinner, and many of them were starting to fray and break. What is going on? Hansen thought in confused excitement. If this was the power of the Shin Yellow Sutra, then it really was scary. It was even weakening the Red Blood Demon substance chains, which were the essence of a deified's power. The shine of the Red Blood Demon's armor started to dim, and its body seemed to be changing. The creature started to expand. It was like watching a bodybuilder slowly being transformed into a fat man. The body became bigger, but the strength and speed of the being decreased. Hansen's fight was becoming easier and easier. He wasn't quite able to beat the Red Blood Demon yet, but he was certainly able to protect himself. He didn't need to teleport away anymore, at the very least. While Hansen reveled in his sudden good fortune, he saw the Red Blood Demon's blood-red substance chains explode like fireworks. Life Force was leaving Hansen's enemy like the air from a leaking balloon. This, this, cannot be a deified dropping to become half-deified, can it? Hansen couldn't believe his eyes. But judging from what he could see, that seemed to be what was happening. There was no other explanation that made sense. The Red Blood Demon's entire presence was more like a king class now, and its power was insufficient to generate substance chains. It didn't look deified at all. Ping. Hansen was still holding the shield of the Medusa's gaze, and with it, he blocked the next strike from the Red Blood Demon. Their powers were tied, and Hansen wasn't tossed away like he had been before. Oh, crap. The Xian Yellow Sutra is ferocious. It really did bring the Red Blood Demon down from Deified to King Class. That is so scary, Hansen was crazily happy. Although Mr. White had predicted that the Geno art would be very strong, Hansen hadn't expected the effect of the Xian Yellow Sutra to be that powerful. It had reversed the blood pulse of a Deified creature, sending it back to King Class. The Red Blood Demon's face was covered in disbelief. It was flabbergasted about what was happening to it. Now that we are both kings, the fun can commence. 
Han Sen's eyes started to shine. He had been suppressed by the red blood demon for so long, and he had almost been killed. Now it was time to unleash all the pent-up anger he had built up throughout the mistreatment. Die. Hansen thundered. He pounced like a tiger toward the red blood demon. The red blood demon's battle experience and will were still there, but its power had been reduced to that of a half-deified. Hansen used his Apollo set and his beast souls, and he carried deified power into battle with him. Now, the advantage had switched. Although the red blood demon's mind and skills were strong, Hansen's absolute power was still enough to turn the tables in his favor. And Hansen's battle experience and will weren't weak, either. And after all the time he had spent fighting the red blood demon, his experience had grown. His knowledge about the way the red blood demon behaved probably exceeded what the very high knew. Before, Hansen lacked the power to fight the red blood demon. But now, things had taken a turn. Hansen's power had an absolute advantage, and he pressed that advantage hard utterly suppressing the creature. His six core snake bow kept firing arrows. All of the arrows punched through the red blood demon's body, making it weaker and weaker. Hansen didn't know how long the Xian Yellow Sutra's power would last, but he wasn't going to wait around to find out. He focused all of his power on killing the red blood quickly. Their initial fights had only lasted a few minutes, and this one wouldn't last much longer. Within three minutes, the red blood demon had been punctured a dozen times, and even more marks were left across its shell. It was bleeding everywhere. The Shin Yellow Sutra didn't just weaken enemies. It made their blood pulse reverse. Their bodies would devolve. The Red Blood Demon was a far cry from the primitive deified that it had once been. Katcha. Hansen's bowstring started cutting. When he was halfway through slicing the Red Blood Demon's head off, the creature was reduced to squeals as it thrashed on the ground. As he continued with his work, Hansen saw the red blood demon's red light flash. It was starting to coalesce substance chains again. Oh, no. The Shin Yellow Sutra's power is waning. Hansen was shocked. He didn't dare delay these proceedings. He generated power and went right up to the red blood demon. He wanted to kill it completely before it had the opportunity to recover. Fortunately, Hansen had already injured the red blood demon badly. Now, the creature was gasping its final few breaths. Exquisite and Lee Kier tried their hardest to get to jail Demon Hall. When they got there, people from the inspection department were already there. They were trying to shut down the restrictions that kept jail Demon Hall locked. What's going on in there? Is Han Sound still inside? Exquisite asked in a rush. I don't know. When the restrictions of jail Demon Hall activated, they cut off all connection to the outside. We have to wait until we have deactivated the added security before we can see what is going on inside, a member of the inspection department replied. Then what are you waiting for? Press the button and shut it down, Lee Kier said. But the worker shook his head and said, we cannot stop it just yet. We have to wait until Open Sky Elder gets here. Why? Exquisite and Lee Kier asked at the same time. Jail Demon Hall security systems are active. That means the red blood demon inside is raging already. Its power is primitive class, but even so, our strength won't be enough to tame and defeat it. We need to wait for Open Sky Elder to get here before we lift the security, the very high man explained. We don't have time to worry about that right now. Hit the button. Hansen is still in there. Saving him is more important, Lee Kier said. The very high man shook his head and said, if Hansen was in there, it has been over half an hour. He would have been killed by the red blood demon several times over by now. It is pointless for us to open it now. We should wait for Open Sky Elder to get here. Exquisite didn't respond. She teleported past the man. She was going to press the button to open the building. The two very high men gaped in surprise. They moved to stop her, but a voice halted them. Let her open it, Open Sky Elder said as he teleported beside them. When he received the news, he had come as soon as possible but it had already been half an hour, and therefore, it was likely too late. Chapter 2698 Demonic Beast Soul Li Yuzhen and Li Xueqing watched all of this unfold from afar. Their faces were gleaming with joy. Half an hour has passed. No matter how lucky Hansen is, he will have been eaten by the red blood demon by this point. Lifting the security now is pointless, Li Xueqing said with a chuckle. I hope Exquisite isn't too upset. I'll have to think of ways to comfort her. This will surely be an open window of opportunity for me to swoop in and work my wily charms, Li Yuzhen said. 
grinning widely. In that case, I hope you win the damsel at the end of this tale. Li Xuecheng was so happy. It felt like he had been waiting a long time to take out Han Senator. This was ointment to the long string of bad days he had recently suffered. Exquisite. Let them do it. You don't know how to lift the restrictions, and you are wasting time. Open Sky Elder told Exquisite, eyeing her as she reached out to push the button. When Exquisite heard him, she retreated and quickly exclaimed, Hurry up and lift the security keeping him in. Right now, Exquisite was feeling both numb and nauseous on the inside. Even if Hansen died, she and Lee Kier could find another silkworm. It didn't have to be Hansen, but for some reason, she didn't want to entertain the thought of finding someone else. Nearly the idea made her feel dismal. I'd never find a silkworm like Hansen again. That's why I'm feeling like this. It must be. It must be the reason. It must. Exquisite had realized that her emotions weren't very rational, and so she was desperately trying to convince herself that they were. The two inspection department men stepped forward and pushed the button. Open Sky Elder sighed and said, Hansen was such a rare genius. It is a shame to learn he has died in a tragedy like this. Open Sky Elder was quite familiar with Jail Demon Hall and the beast it contained, and he knew that being locked inside would have been a death sentence for Hans Senator no matter how strong Hansen was, he was half deified, and that was that. Only by depending on the powers of treasures could he manage to fight a deified being, and that was only by a small margin. Against an ordinary deified, Hansen might have stood a chance, but the red blood demon was far from ordinary, and when it was in its rage mode, even a larva deified might not be able to kill it. Catch a cha. The restrictions binding the jail demon hall were deactivated. Not willing to wait a second longer, Exquisite rushed inside. She pushed open the door to jail demon hall. Open Sky Elder followed with haste, in case the red blood demon tried to rush through the open door and bring harm to the others. But when Exquisite pulled the door open, everyone's mouths gaped at the sight before them. Hansen was standing in the middle of the room one foot propped up atop the red blood demon's body. He was holding a great bell and using the taut string of the weapon like a saw blade. The string slid through the remaining flesh of the red blood demon's neck, and they watched in awe as the head of the red blood demon dropped to the ground with a wet thud. Exquisite and the others stood completely still. They were so flabbergasted that they barely knew how to react. Hansen, he killed the raging red blood demon. Exquisite and Lee Kier were as shocked as they were happy. Open Sky Elder and the two people from the inspection department looked at the scene with disbelief. They had a firmer grasp of how strong the Red Blood Demon was. Hansen was just a half deified, and he had managed to decapitate it completely. Even if Hansen had some help from his Apollo set, this was an unbelievable feat. Li Yuzhen and Li Xueqing, who watched all of this from afar, were just as stunned. Their eyes widened, and Li Xueqing screamed aloud, Impossible. How is that possible? How could Hansen have killed the red blood demon? This is impossible. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. The raging red blood demon had been taken down by a measly half deified. That was far beyond anyone's wildest expectations. When Hansen had sliced off the red blood demon's head, he heard a familiar voice ring inside his head. Mutant deified xenogeneic killed. Red blood demon. Xenogeneic gene found. Obtained red blood demon be soul. Hansen didn't dare to let his mind dwell on his new acquisition. He threw the beast's soul into his sea of soul without thinking about it. He had to control his thoughts very carefully to keep Exquisite and Lee Kier from noticing that something was amiss. Are you okay? Exquisite asked, hurrying over to Han Senator. Although she could see that Hansen was fine, she couldn't keep herself from asking anyway. Hang, this is nothing. Just a few wounds and scrapes, Hansen answered, gesturing down at himself. It is great that you're okay. We were so worried about you. Why did the red blood demon go into a rage? Lee Kier asked after rushing forward to see him. I actually don't know. As soon as I went inside, the red blood demon just went crazy. Its power exploded to obscene levels with no warning, Hansen answered. But Hansen didn't explain how he had managed to defeat the red blood demon. He just said he had been fortunate and that he had to use all of his power to win. His victory basically boiled down to luck, though. Luck? Huh? Open Sky Elder looked at Hansen with interest. He wasn't the sort of person that believed in luck. The raging red blood demon wasn't something that could be overcome through dumb luck, but Open Sky Elder didn't push the subject any further. He only asked about the raging red blood demon. 
he needed to figure out why the red blood demon had gone wild. After answering a few more questions, Hansen left with Exquisite and Likir. He finally found some time alone to check out the red blood demon beast soul. Mutant red blood demon beast soul, demonic beast soul, incomplete. Hansen's eyebrows rose. This was the first time he had seen a demonic beast soul before. Also, like the Tianxia Peacock King beast soul, the red blood demon beast soul was an incomplete beast soul. He didn't know what additional strength the complete versions might offer. So, what exactly is a demonic beast soul, I wonder? Hansen thought as he summoned it. The next second, Hansen felt as if some scary power was washing over him. His entire body brimmed with a blood-red power. Crimson light started to leak out of his skin. Many substance chains exploded throughout his cells, changing him as they went. Soon, visible changes began to occur across Hansen's skin. Under the influence of the light and substance chains, Hansen's skin hardened like a shell. The red color coming from him looked just like the red blood demon. In a flash, his entire body was encased inside that protective shell. The more Hansen grew to look like the red blood demon, the more his presence increased. Red substance chains swirled restlessly around him. This is like a shape-shifting beast soul, but it is a bit different. Transfusion shape-shifting beast souls transform my body to look like the creatures that the beast souls originally belonged to. This demonic beast soul reinforces my body as well, however. I'm basically half-human and half-demon, Hansen murmured to himself, trying to get a sense for exactly how the beast soul worked. He was very pleased with his prize. Despite the change in Hansen's appearance, the demonic beast soul wouldn't turn him into a xenogeneic. He would have both the red blood demon's power and his own human power. In demon mode, I would probably have enough power to fight the red blood demon reliably. So even if I ran into the red blood demon again, I wouldn't have such a hard time. Hansen tried to explore the breadth of the beast soul's power. The demonic power it wielded was greater than Hansen had expected. He liked it more and more. But what does the incomplete part mean? Does that mean the Peacock King Bee Soul and the Red Blood Demon Bee Soul can still be upgraded? If so, how do I make them complete Bee Souls? Hansen thought to himself. Chapter 2699, Fish in a Bottle The incident in Jail Demon Hall had yet to be explained. Although it was suggested that the raging of the Red Blood Demon might have been somehow connected to the Blood Marrow Geno Fluid, the inspection department came to no ultimate conclusion. And before the incident, no one had known that the bone marrow geno fluid could produce this sort of effect. The warehouse frequently offered that type of geno fluid when they ran out of the ordinary ones, so it all seemed like one giant coincidence. No one should have been responsible for what occurred. But Hansen thought things couldn't have been that simple. He firmly believed the event had something to do with Li Yuzhen and Li Xuecheng. Li Xuecheng had visited him not long before the lockdown took place. The timing was too suspicious to be a coincidence. But there was no evidence linking the event to Li Xuecheng, and that meant Hansen could not do anything to the man. It is a shame that the Red Blood Demon Doppelganger will take another six months to regenerate. Otherwise, I could go and kill it again. Maybe that would help me figure out what an incomplete beast soul is, Hansen thought to himself as he fished at Underworld Lake. Then he heard Bauer's voice shouting to him, interrupting his thoughts. Dad, I fished up the sheep head again. Bauer yelled as she pulled at the underworld silk. Hansen looked toward her and saw that she was indeed pulling the four sheep cube toward her. Half of it was visible through the clouds of the lake. Hansen had gotten used to this happening. Bauer frequently caught the four sheep cube on the end of her line, but she was never able to bring it out of the lake. Indeed, whenever the four sheep cube was on the cusp of being pulled free of the lake's surface, the underworld silk tended to snap. The four sheep cube would sink below the white mist again. After fishing it up so many times without actually being able to catch it, Bauer was starting to get angry. As she watched the four sheep cube again, waiting for the moment it fell back into the lake, she decided to try something new. With her free hand, she summoned her little gourd. She aimed the gourd at the sinking four sheep cube. Then Bauer tapped the top of the gourd, unleashing a weird power. It was like an invisible lasso had been slung over the four sheep cube. It yanked the four sheep cube in the direction of the little gourd. Hansen looked at Bao with shock. The things in Underworld Lake were very special, and generally, only strings made of Underworld silk could affect them. Other powers didn't really do anything in Underworld Lake. Until an item left Underworld Lake completely, no types of power should have worked on it. 
Hansen had already tried using his own powers to remove the four sheep cube from the lake, but it hadn't worked. If his power touched the surface of Underworld Lake, the mist would disrupt and render it null. But the little gourd's power of suction didn't seem to be affected at all by the lake. It easily pulled the four sheep cube up and away. Unfortunately, Bauer didn't have enough raw power, and she seemed to be struggling to pull the statue free of the clouds. He didn't know if it was an illusion, but it felt like the four sheep cube was using its own strength to pull itself back into the lake. It was trying to return to the camouflage of the clouds. Bauer gripped her little gourd tightly, and the weight of the statue slowly began to drag her little body toward Underworld Lake. Hansen's heartbeat sped up, and he teleported over beside her and grabbed hold of her. Hansen sensed that a foreign power had wrapped itself around Bauer's body, and it was towing both of them toward the lake. What a scary power. Hansen's face paled slightly. He didn't have time to think, so he simply summoned his Peacock King soul rope and used all of his power to remain still. His legs dug into the lakeside soil. It wasn't enough. Not even the powerful beast soul could prevent the malevolent force from pulling him closer to the lake. Hansen's legs slowly tore a trench through the soil as he was dragged toward the lake. Hansen and Bauer used all of their strength, and Bauer's face flushed a deep red. But she couldn't fight off that power no matter how hard she tried, and she was on the verge of falling into the lake. Hansen was about to tell Bauer to put away the little gourd, but he suddenly felt a new power latch onto him from behind. The powerful force launched them backward, almost yanking the four sheep cube clear of the mist. Hansen looked behind, and with much shock, he saw that it was the sixteen little pigs. They had all lined up single file, with each pig biting the tail of the next one in line. The little pig in front was biting Hansen's soul rope, pulling him back. Mysterious spell work glowed on the forehead of each little pig, and a strange power was spreading amongst them. Hansen was shocked. This level of power should have been far out of reach for a mere king class being. Even after donning his Tianxia Peacock King soul rope, Hansen had still been pulled toward the lake. But the 16 little pigs were holding on just fine. That was a bit weird. Hansen didn't put too much thought into it, though. After all, he and Bauer had been putting all of their strength into the effort. Perhaps they had only needed a tiny bit more power, and it just so happened to be provided by the 16 little pigs. The little creatures probably weren't that strong. The four sheep cube was on the verge of being pulled out of the lake, and Hansen could see the faces of the bronze sheep above the clouds. They almost appeared frightened. Very good. Let's pull you up so I can see what the hell you are. Realizing that their tug-off war with the four sheep cube was almost over, Hansen started to get excited. Every time they had failed to pull the statue free, the sheep heads had mocked him. That had always upset Hans Sr. The moment the four sheep cube was lifted from the lake, Hansen felt the tension on his hands loosen. Suddenly, Bauer and the little pigs were all flying backward. Ping. The three to four meter high four sheep cube came flying out of the clouds. It landed on the soil, one of its corners digging into the ground. Grass and soil sprayed everywhere, showering Hansen and Bauer. Ah, I finally got you out. So what on earth are you? Hansen merrily exclaimed. He lifted himself off the ground and approached the four sheep cube. Bauer and the little pigs came up to see it, too. Hansen, Bauer, and the little pigs surrounded the four sheep cube. After walking around, Hansen confirmed that the four sheep cube was an ordinary bronze statue. He couldn't sense any life force or power coming from it. It seemed dead and inanimate. Hansen looked at the four sheep heads, but their faces all looked the same. They had lowered eyebrows and half-closed eyes. They looked like frozen mucks. They didn't seem to be mocking anyone. Weird. I swear I saw different expressions on their faces. Why aren't they changing now? Hansen used his purple eye butterfly to have a look, but he couldn't see anything strange about the statue. The purple eye butterfly's rewinding power didn't work on it, either. Is this thing dead or alive? Hansen wondered aloud, searching carefully for some sign of power from the statue. Despite its lack of response, Hansen didn't believe that the statue was an ordinary bronze object. Hansen reached out his hand to tap his fist against the side of the four sheep cube. The action produced a dong-dong noise. The statue didn't look damaged at all. When Hansen saw that, he became certain that this was no ordinary piece of bronze. With his power, even treasures made from king-class xenogeneic genes would break if he struck them. But the four-sheep cube was totally fine. 
That meant the material was special. Bauer jumped over to the four sheep cube to get a better look. She said in surprise, Dad, there are two fish. Fish? Hansen asked. He flew to the top of the four sheep cube and lowered his head to get a better view of the top of the four sheep cube. It was full of water, and there were two goldfish inside. They were black and white. Chapter 2700, Sea Palace Their heads were like those of a Buddha, and their tails spread like butterfly wings. Their bodies were really fat and round. Other than their black and white coloring, they looked a little like lion-head goldfish. They were swimming calmly around inside the four sheep cube, undisturbed by their rough exodus from Underworld Lake. Bauer was squatting near the four sheep cube. She put her hand down into the water, wanting to touch the fish. The fish were only a few inches below the surface of the water. She put her arm into the water up to her shoulder, but still, she couldn't touch those two goldfish. Hansen frowned. He pulled out his ghost teeth knife and thrust at the white fish below the water. The white fish was so close to the surface of the water, but when Hansen thrust the knife in, the blade sank completely into the water without getting any closer to the white goldfish. The two fish inside didn't seem to know what was going on. They continued swimming around slowly. Hansen frowned. Ghost teeth knife generated a dangerous knife air that flew into the water once more. While that demonic-looking Fong knife air was capable of tearing through the fabric of space, it was unable to touch the white goldfish. The white goldfish was still swimming around slowly. It didn't seem even remotely shaken by Han Sen's attacks, and the few inches of water above it was like the length of an entire solar system. No matter how scary Han Sen's knife air was, it couldn't go through the water to touch the fish inside. This four sheep cube is so weird, Han Sen thought to himself. He reached out, grabbing the cube and toppling it onto its side. Water began pouring out of the top of the statue. Water burst out like a flooded river overrunning its banks. The water poured out so quickly that it looked like it was going to form another lake, but the water level within the cube didn't seem like it was being reduced. What is this thing? Hansen thought, disturbed. The four sheep cube was far too strange. Not even he could see or understand what it was. If the statue was deified, it was still strange that Hansen couldn't get a power reading from it. And if it was just an ordinary object, it shouldn't have been able to hold an ocean's worth of water. Hansen was lost in thought, so he didn't immediately notice that Bauer had climbed to the top of one of the bronze sheep heads. She used her foot to stomp on it. Clearly, Bauer was more than capable of holding a grudge. She remembered each and every time the sheep had mocked her as they fell back into the lake of clouds. So, she wanted to step on the heads of the sheep to unleash the anger she had been harboring all that time. But when she started stomping the head, she heard a catch a catch a noise. The sheep head had been raised, but it was pushed down by Bauer's furious blows. The sheep head was lowered, as if it was about to take a bite of grass. Bauer was shocked by this, too. She hadn't thought the four sheep cube was fragile enough to break after being stomped on. Hansen jerked his head up, immediately noticing the strange scene. The bronze sheep head had been stomped down by Bauer, but the other three heads were still raised. An ominous feeling rolled through Han Sen's stomach. Before, when he struck the statue, he thought it was a very hard object. He had been unable to leave a single mark on the object. Bauer, however, had almost broken one of the heads when she stomped on it twice. If Bauer didn't use some special power to do that, then the cube, before Han Sen could finish his thought, he saw the swimming goldfish suddenly accelerate. As the two goldfish swam, the water started to splosh and spin until a whirlpool formed. Hansen realized this was bad. He grabbed Bauer and turned to teleport away. He wanted to get as far away from the four sheep cube as he could. But after picking up Bauer, he realized he was too late. A powerful force of suction reached out of the cube and grabbed him and Bauer. They fell into the whirlpool and quickly sank. The sixteen pigs got pulled in, as well. They were spun around inside the whirlpool alongside Hansen and Bauer. Hansen held on to Bauer as he tried to escape, but the world around him had turned into chaos. When he finally managed to regain control of himself and pull himself out of the water, he froze. The four sheep cubes sat quietly beside him, and the two goldfish were once more swimming placidly through the water. The vortex had disappeared, and the sheep head that Bauer had stomped on looked ordinary again. Just like the other three sheep heads, it was raised. Its eyebrows were lowered and its eyes were half open. It looked as if nothing had happened. The sixteen small piggies emerged from the water, too. 
They lay on the frame of the cube as they shook the water off of their skin. Nothing seemed to have changed, but the environment around them was completely different. Hansen and the others had been on the shore of Underworld Lake only moments before, but now they were someplace else. As he looked around, Hansen didn't even think that they were still in outer sky. They were standing near a range of palaces. Unlike the palaces that could be found in outer sky, however, these palaces hadn't been constructed atop mountains. Rather, they were built across the surface of a nearby sea. All kinds of different palaces stood across the seemingly endless sea. They were like islands, spread out across an infinite ocean. This place wasn't anywhere to be found in outer sky. What is this place? Hansen looked around. Aside from the palaces, there was nothing much to see. There didn't seem to be any living beings around, either. The sea below them looked infinitely deep, but it wasn't like an ordinary sea. The sea wasn't blue. It was transparent like a crystal, and there were no waves. The water looked strangely quiet and still. Dad, the sun is weird. Bawa lifted a finger to point at the sun in the sky. She looked at it with curiosity. Hansen hadn't noticed the sun, but now that Bauer was pointing her finger at it, he looked and became just as shocked. The sun was releasing light and heat, but it was so weird. Even calling it a sun was something of a misnomer. It was more like a clock in the sky. The clock face held three needles, varying in length and thickness, which obviously represented seconds, minutes, and hours. Although there were no numbers on the clock, the position of the needles seemed to be showing that it was twelve o'clock. A palace on a sea of silent water, where the sun is a clock. What kind of place have we come to? Hansen thought warily. He didn't trust this place. The palaces floated calmly on the surface of the sea, although nothing seemed to be holding them aloft. Even the four sheep cube was floating unaided on the surface. Everything around them was so quiet. Since they had arrived, Hansen hadn't noticed a single sound or movement from their surroundings. The two goldfish inside the cube were swimming. They seemed to be playing in the water. As he looked around at the palaces spread across the sea, Hansen wondered what he should do next. But as he did, he suddenly heard a sound from far away. Dong. 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 In that moment, the air was filled with the sound of tolling bells. Hansen turned his head up to the sky to get a look at the sun clock. The three needles on the sun were pointing to the very top. For a normal clock, that either would mean it was 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. 